Oh man. All right then, then. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome back to Aluna Nights. As always, uh, I am your DM Shivam, and I use he him pronouns. Uh, and I will let the rest of our cast of characters uh, introduce themselves. Starting uh, from... Uh, I am Nemo. <laughs> from Nemo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I started talking when you, you were still finishing. <laughs> I was uh, sorry. a pause for dramatic effect, and you just kind of... <laughs> you, you slip right in there. <laughs> you... <laughs> no, go on. Ten go thing on. to do, though. So. <laughs> I an... use <laughs> he him pronouns. Uh, I play Pen Isidore, the gnome rogue. Uh, the fun fact for Pen today is that Pen has caused a type of bird to go extinct by artificially creating a market demand for its beak and feathers. He did that because he didn't like the noises it made. <laughs> my god. This is the ultimate get off out. my lawn energy. <laughs> he does. No! <laughs> was it actually like- Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there. The bird was like an actual pigeon. <laughs> so the only pigeons left are like uh, Pigeon Kenku. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like, there's different kinds of pigeons. Like, we have the carrier pigeon in real life that actually went extinct because people were overusing them. Mm-hmm. In this universe, Pen killed them. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. All right. They proved too loudly. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I was actually kind of hoping you would just, like, interrupt Nemo, but, like, before the end of his last sentence, and we all just kind of, <laughs> like... The introduction, just one long stream of consciousness where we don't have any gaps <laughs> of silence. God. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hello, I am Kate. I use she, her pronouns. I play Plumeria, our fairy paladin, who also uses she, her pronouns. Fun fact for this week. So, Plumeria knows the male and female parts to many fairy folk dances and a couple formal dances. But she prefers to dance with a partner rather than alone. Hmm. Very ah. interesting. Very mm -hmm. interesting. Very cool. <laughs> that makes sense She's now a that we. Queen. You know that we like out of character know that like Plumeria had a girlfriend for at least a little while. Mm hmm. It's all tying together. <laughs> it's all tying together. All right. Izzy. Hi, Izzy I'm Izzy. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Josh. Get him. I got the fucking tower. I ain't afraid to fuck around and find out today. I swear to fucking god. Oh my god. This is the day Indigo stabs Pen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Any fucking way, my intro. Hi, I'm Izzy. I use she, they pronouns. I play Indigo, a Shatterkai Samurai elf boy. Uh, he, him, ho pronouns. His fun fact of this fucking week is the first time Indigo got arrested was for stealing food when he was like eight from a bakery. That's sad. That's not it a fun fact. That's very unfun. It's funny when you put the Les Miserables yeah. uh, joke with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, you stole I a forgot. loaf of bread and went to the Les Miserables. Can I be honest? The yeah. the only reason I knew that reference isn't because I watched Les Mis. Um, it's because oh God, I'm, oh no, I'm losing my voice. That's not good. Stop that. We've, we've um, killed Shivam. The, the only reason I know that reference was uh, Yukio the Abridged Series had a reference where Tristan sang Lee Miz. Excuse <laughs> Jesus me? Jesus Christ. Okay, off the top of my head, Prisoner 24609. Oh, one. Oh, one. You fool. You fool. You fake fan. <laughs> the fake fan is I've never watched Lee Miz. Dude, my, I did an entire Lee Miz marching band show in high school. That's my one claim to fame. Why didn't you make the reference? I don't know, man. <laughs> I was Damn. in Les Mis, but I was like Brad. the little boy who dies. 
And everyone oh, no. was like, oh God. no, the child! And I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> This is Izzy fun fact. <laughs> Very good. Here, Lego fun fact. Yep. Okay. Izzy died. Yeah, I did. Izzy today. died. That's what the tower effect is. Izzy dies this session. Oh, oh fucking finally. <laughs> Max, activate Water 66. God. He's, he's <laughs> licking his belly at the moment. That's what it is. Come here, son. Well, okay, speaking continue. of Syrinx. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm I'm Elliot, and I play Searing, our cats. resident bard sard. Uh, we both use he/him pronouns. And my fun fact for today is Searing knows a lot of folk music, folk songs, essentially any song created by a small town in a small town. Uh, he, a lot of them are in the Feywilds. A lot of them he has memorized, actually, and a couple of them he has written down. But he's started to expand the horizons of the songs that he knows through word of mouth and exploring. Yeah. You know what? I bet he knows a lot of like, musical numbers, you know, stuff like cats, because uh, the of the canonical oh, cat no. boy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's established no. in universe. No! The meow mix song. <laughs> God. Too, too late, it's been said out loud. Not only is he a cat boy, he's a jellicle cat. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> Biblically accurate cat boy. It's you, no do you really want to go down the jellicle cat path with me again? <laughs> no! Oh god. <laughs> Please let hey. it end. <laughs> well, not with this kind of encouragement. <laughs> oh god. We bring no fans into Iluna. <laughs> no! <laughs> Cross the beans. You can't do that. Cross the beans! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And on that horrifying note, what happened last time? Big sads all around. We Big got sad. out of the weird time loop we were in though, so that was cool. Yeah, yeah we yeah, killed no, the we're, dragon. We're all right. We met a villain who might, I don't know, feels like they're gonna come back. <laughs> they're too funny not to come back. Yeah, it was Lance Graves. Yeah, Lance uh, Graves. Brother Sibling to the the night play. <laughs> night was it? Graves, yeah. 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 So we uh, essentially repeated what we did last time. We we uh, frame perfected the tower because we knew everything that was gonna happen now. And yep. when we got up to the top, there was some dude named Lance Graves, who uh, essentially told us that he was also stuck in the time loop. And made Pen introduce himself as a uh, fart so Mickey, mm -hmm. and yes. told us that the only way out was to kill this ghost that was tied to the time loop in some way that he was trying to essentially perform forbidden necromancy on, and, like bring back from the dead. And apparently, this ghost had been mumbling something along the lines of destroy flower something, or yeah. And he couldn't really make out what he was saying, so he was just what Sirius thinks. He was just guessing what the end of the sentence could be. <laughs> and one of those guesses happens to be Destroy Flower Shop, which brings us back to several sessions ago when we got the lead. But this was the man who had ordered uh, whoever to destroy the flower shop. So glad uh, that made sense. <laughs> yeah, so um, when we finally destroyed the time machine Mabili, we uh, got some war flashbacks from everyone's childhoods, but there were a little bit more than that because these flashbacks contained for each of us a chunk of information that we didn't know before. Hence was arguably most pertinent to the situation, where uh, we found out that the man that our new enemy, <laughs> Lance Graves, was raising from the dead was in fact the last remaining member of the West Street Female Help. Uh, a rival what? gang. A rival gang. <laughs> yeah, the Rocklands of Westville. That. Yes. And uh, who was trying to de to destroy the Flower Boys, which was the name of Penn's gang, and mm -hmm. had actually caused all of his friends in the gang to be murdered in a fire. Humeria, we discovered, she found herself in a rather quotidian scenario with her old friends. And she discovered that her girlfriend had betrayed her and was the cause of whatever mysterious event had caused Plumeria to leave her old town. Ah. Uh, Indigo's was a rather tragic flashback. 
<laughs> to his childhood where he first got his brand and we discovered that he was a part of the church and his old name. And Syrinx, last and somewhat least, uh, was back again, similar to Plumeria's kind of in a quotidian situation where he was actually performing music with his sister and having lost her name years ago, finally heard it again for the first time. And that all brings us to where we are after having the villain run away from us while we were killing his ghost and going back into the Bog Fairy's town to get some drinks and recoup before heading home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I remembered things this time! You can't get very good. Yeah, dude. You go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we reopen with, uh, all of you guys just hanging around the, the bar for a little bit. Um, if you guys want to discuss any sort of things, any sort of things to wrap up the arc or whatever, uh, now would be the time to do so. Otherwise, I mean... I think we did that last time. I'd rather talk uh, Yeah, I was going to say, we yeah, all kind of just talked to each other. Yeah, yeah, unless you had anything else you wanted to talk to each other no. about here. Otherwise, I guess you could start heading back um, to the... I was going to say, probably not here, but probably at the court. Yeah, okay. yeah. I said I would show my eyeball. Yeah. I, was, I was going to say, <laughs> Plumeria. <laughs> I, I don't know why they got me. It's the way you said eyeball. <laughs> Sorry, go <laughs> <Come> on. <please. laughs> he shows gonna... us his eyeballs. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Already so cursed. Um, I was going to say, Plumeria before we all end up heading uh, to sleep for the night. She was going to pull Indigo aside to specifically talk to him. Uh, oh. One -on -one. oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I wake up from my meditation of four hours. <laughs> God. I thought I, 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 I was planning on like doing this. Like I thought we were all like splitting off to like sleep for the night. Oh, before. before okay. So she wouldn't specifically wake you up. <laughs> Pumeri starts shaking you awake in the middle of the yeah. night. Hey, get up. <laughs> I gotta talk to you. <laughs> Go off in the corner. God. <laughs> but no, she's gonna start out with... So... You, I am assuming, because of the body language that you had at the broker... You showed him your eye, and you did just flip him off, and he's like, Okay, great, that's a fun secret. Um, no. I showed him my eye. Uh, why? Well, I mean, we both know he is an information broker. You yes. told us that your brother is after you. He yeah. now knows what you look like, specifically. Well, I mean, we look very similar, so even if I didn't show him my eye, I kind of stand out compared to other Shatterkai elves. So, That's... with or without the eye, I'm sure my brother has seen me somewhere. Fair enough. <clears throat> I suppose along with that, where exactly... Was your family located up on the island? Because we still have to go up there to get that painting. Um. And if we can try and avoid that and make sure we don't go that way, I'd prefer to make things a little bit better. Right. Um, to be completely honest with you, Plumeria, I don't remember. I didn't want to remember that flashback I had. I blocked it out of my memory because it was so painful and I just wanted to forget it all. I didn't I don't want anything to do with my parents, my brother, the church, nothing. After what happened to me, after what I've seen them do to people, I wanted nothing for them. So I blocked it out. So I'm going to be completely transparent with you. I don't remember where I used to live. It was a very long time ago. That's... That's okay. Do you... Still remember the last name you had? We could... 
you and Searings would probably be less suspicious asking for, for information up there. My last name? Your former last name. I assume you took Kikyo's when she took you under her tutelage. Does Kikyo have a last name? Not one you gave me. No, I, you know, I don't think... She has one, but it's just a bunch of jumbled characters. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's something cool sounding. Akira yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just work out at a time. Some well, cool maybe, last name. Yeah, maybe some, like, title, too, or something like that. Like, uh, uh, Kikyo, like, yeah, maybe, like, something like, of, like, the, the Lotus or something like that. Or <laughs> Yeah, Kikyo of the Black Lotus. Mm. Some cool shit like that. I don't know. Um, my last name was Morning Moon. Like, in mourning over someone, Moon. That is... Not... Okay, no offense. That's... Very extra. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not get to choose the name. <laughs> <laughs> no, say it out loud, Elliot. Moon, moon. Moon, moon. moon, moon. <laughs> I'm leaving this call. Moon, moon, moon. We're done, we're done. <laughs> God. Hmm. Sorry, uh, go ahead. Uh, well, we can use the that to start. I mean, could ask, like, we're inquiring about it, and then make sure to stay the fuck away from there. So, if it turns out that whatever museum that art piece is in is nearby, I think it'd be good if we stopped by Trevor and maybe disguised you up a little. Probably a good idea. Um... Sorry, a lot has happened in the past what feels like 24 hours, even though it's repeated itself a million times. It, it's hard to think straight, but I I think you're right. Yeah, this has been a very long, long day. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of why I was spacing early when you said this. I want to ask why. You mentioned up in the tower after the first time you defeated the Hydra that you thought of yourself when I said telling the child what to do and then turning around and immediately doing the opposite. Is that because of how you stood to Izanami? Or because you ran? Hmm. A little of both, I should say. It's... do what I say, not as I do, kind of thing. Um, I know I shouldn't be going off and flirting with people and, you know, getting myself into more trouble after what happened with Natasha, and uh, he starts to say a, a name and then stops, and then a really sad look comes over his face and he just doesn't say anything after that. Well, your affinity for other people is not always the worst thing. Sometimes you need to talk people up to get information in this line of work, or get them to trust you a little. That but, um, is very true, but sometimes it's hard to... Mm. Control it? Mm. Yes. Well, that's something to practice. I was gonna say, um, kind of segueing off the last thing. They really didn't let you guys step out of the line a lot in the Yakuza, did you? Oh, absolutely not. I mean, Why do you think I didn't know a lot of things of what you were saying, or... I know all of you make fun of me for different things, and I understand, but the the reason why I, I guess, didn't know any of that was not only is the Yakuza very strict, but Lady Kikyo wanted to make absolute sure that the church couldn't find me. I suppose double-edged sword, then. Indeed. 
Well, how about this then? Lesson one and a little bit about the world. Do you want to know how fairies come into existence? Okay, so you're <laughs> not Cabbage Patch Kids, so what is happening? <laughs> okay, first off, I'm going to fucking specify. Why did you go right to eggs? <laughs> we are not the person. I get to have some eggs and they have wings, so I just assumed. You're g I'll give you a pass for that, but I'm allowed to go. Why the fuck? That's fair. I don't yeah, know. But, but no, fairies are. Fairies are formed two ways. The first is. Once they die naturally, so it's like going peacefully in your sleep or an age, not abruptly is the specific of it. Mm -hmm. We bury them, and from them grows another plant of their namesake. And after we're not, no one's really too sure about this, but we assume it's another culmination of magic. Just in the world, a another fairy is formed from that flower, that plant, well, vegetable, fruit, if they're a little more lucky, or tree, fully formed, but no knowledge of their previous lives, no sharing characteristics of their previous existence. It's almost as if you took hair colors and skin colors and eye colors and physical descriptions and shook them up and randomly just shuffled them out every time. Um, we refer to that kind of creation as a reblossom. Um, the other is basically that whole mess but no fairy had to previously die beforehand. Um, and they're just kind of born that same way. Um, we call that one a rebloom. Uh, I am a rebloom fairy. I have no previous lives that I'm aware of, or at least I think. No one's told me, but. Huh. Hmm. I think if you look a bit, there may be books about it, but considering it's magic-based, I wouldn't think it'd be common knowledge. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be completely honest, magic is still a very foreign thing to me. I know some people in the Yakuza can, um, I didn't grow up with it in the church or with Lady Kikyo, so seeing you and Syrinx and sometimes pen do magic, it's astonishing. And you telling me these things, I it's amazing. It's it's something wonderful to have the knowledge of considering a lot of said knowledge is basically shunned. And it's mm. not something that should be forgotten or hated, in my opinion. I agree. I still don't understand why people want to hate your kind. You're very lovely. Pixies aside from trying to steal my name. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah, no, I, I've strangled a few pixies in my time. Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, did, I just didn't want to say it to be like weird. So, okay. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're assholes. They're a lot of, at least, I think, regular Sealy Fae don't enjoy pixies. So, excuse my ignorance, but what kind of Fae are you? You called that, um, Banshee woman? An un, what was she? Uh, non Sealy. An unsealy? What what do these mean? Is she like I like I said, I don't know anything about magic. I mean the real difference is just 
appearance sometimes, but mostly um, like their personalities. Sealy Fae typically, they are more friendly. They are more agreeable. They are more face forward. Unsealy Fae, they can be more dangerous. Um, banshees, I want to say hags, in some terms can be unsealy, certain kinds, but they are darker entities in what they believe and how they interact with others. Unsealy and see that they typically don't agree too much, but it depends again on who you talk to. Mm. Some some regular Sealy Fae, they can be awful. There are unsealy who are perhaps not as personable as regular Fae, but they're not evil. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you for explaining that to me. Um, I guess it makes it easier to come to places like this and he kind of motions to like the bog fairies and stuff. For sure. Knowing about your surroundings is not a bad thing. How to work with people. Which is lesson number two I'm going to be, I would like to start you on, obviously. We don't have much more use of, you know, this area, but once we get back, I think I'd like to help you get more of a fucking backbone for when you go back. So you won't, well, say in the event that you do end up going back to these Yakuza for full time, where you spend more time with Kikyo and um, dealing with Izanami, you're just not going to fucking bend over backwards anymore. That shit, no. I I understand what you're coming from. I do. I really do. But it's really it's hard to tiptoe around this. Me projecting traditions and throwing it back to in Lady Izanami's face was pushing the line to the extreme and I'm very surprised I didn't die. There are very hard set traditions, and for me being an outsider, I'm not a Fudakuchiona. Hell, I'm not a woman. There, those are two things that are very, like, highly um, approved of. So, for me to walk away from that is pretty damn good and lucky. So, just, I understand, and I'm grateful that you want to help me, but it isn't my place. I'm not trying to tell the Yakuza how to run everything. I'm just simply trying to make suggestions to help everyone else. How about a rephrase of that, then? Get some- help you, uh, stand up for yourself when dealing with others, because, uh... Pen. Pen is an example. <laughs> but, uh, others in the future, too, so you don't end up it's getting walked all over. Consider you're still... I mean, it's almost... Like you are a child out in the streets, not... I am out. 127? And I'm nearly 300, your point. Okay. <laughs> I... I just feel like... It's something that I want to do. You remind me of a friend of mine. Um, Who is that? Uh, her name's Willow. Uh, kind of more so the opposite you, which is why I find it kind of funny. She's always been the one who really gets gets us, got my group out of trouble. Who really put people in their place. And she just knew her shit. Hmm. And I remind you of this person... Why? Because you are basically the opposite of her. And oh. I... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. Damn. It's, it's, a, it's a bit... It's a bit refreshing, but, uh... To see 
just... You kind of knew the things. Um. Well, I, I, I guess that's a good thing. It means you've got plenty to learn and you can look at things with a fresh, fresh perspective. If it um, makes you a bit more... I suppose the word is uh, relieved about why I'm comparing you. It's her name is one of the ones I gave to the info broker because I care oh. very much about her. Hmm. And I, and I trust what she knows, and I've picked up a bit of what she knows, and it means you can help me pick up. A bit of one I know. Right. Well, I hope to learn more from you and the others. I think it'll be good. And we should probably go to hell. Well, go to bed. This has been hell. hell. I don't know how. I don't even know hell, how many bed. hours. It's Same been thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, while we've been not, like, counting the hours in the loop, we've been awake, what, like, probably... Like, 72 hours? <laughs> a lot. So, let's, so let's go the hell to bed. And not think about this day for a while. Yeah. Me looking back on all the fucking times I've died in the past, like, some, something hours. Oh, God. Uh, you can't just maybe get good. <laughs> no. Just stop dying. Just stop dying. I'll when throw you're this tower dying, card don't. into the trash can so fucking <laughs> fast. <laughs> good. But if there's nothing else, you guys all go to sleep? Weeshna. Well, if you read my DMs. Oh, right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, as all of the, the the conversation finishes up, uh, what music does everyone else hear? Uh, what? in the distance, there's just really like lively folk music playing. <laughs> yeah, um, you can see a, a hoedown's beginning to to form. <laughs> should we all the bog go fairies are gathering? See what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and suddenly you hear cut on Itro. That's exactly that. God. I mean, we could. I think after this, I think I'll play their fucking drinking games because I don't think anything is worse than what I experienced today. <laughs> uh, I want to be able to walk home. <laughs> well, you can watch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no sleeping. Right. Um. Unless you guys want to play this out, it's a a long night of uh, partying. Letting As you, guys you approach, down. there's no source to the music, but there's just Syrinx dancing <laughs> and <laughs> a bunch of bog fairies joining in and like setting up a party. Mm. Yeah, you can see the uh, the drinks are beginning to flow, drinking games are happening, and as is tradition, you can see that the bog fairies are beginning to just like smash bottles upside each other's heads God, when they win at the drinking happening. games. I look to Plumeria for answers. <laughs> if you finish your drink the fastest, you get a smash the bottle on the loser. <laughs> I'm not gonna drink. <laughs> good choice. They're pretty damn good. Well, you guys made the mistake of coming too close to the party because Syrix is approaching and he grabs <laughs> both of your hands and pulls you over. Oh god! Is Pen involved in this too? I, where is Pen? Trying to put the pants on. God. <laughs> oh god. He just passed out the branches of a tree, all of us unsure how we yeah, got no. it. <laughs> Valid. Just unconscious. A bottle of moonshine in his hand. <laughs> Face down. <Yeah. laughs> the pants. Well, Syrinx oh, directs his party directly into the night. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yada yada yada. And see. Yada, all right. Yada. Yeah, you all wake up then in the late in the morning and just a, a heap in the middle of the the town. Um, 
<laughs> Everyone wakes up uh, groggy and a little bit hungover, but honestly, after the past 72 hours you've just had, uh, may maybe a, a little... We deserve grave. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... But uh, unless there's anything else you guys want to do with the bog fairies, I guess it's uh, time to start heading back. Searing oh, wakes yeah, up just plans. a little bit too chipper for the early morning hours to yeah. give a hearty goodbye to everybody. Hello, I just say cousin. To... God, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I say goodbye to eggplant, and that is all. <laughs> he finger guns at ya. <laughs> And you go stares at him so confused. <laughs> oh my god. What does that mean? <laughs> he, he says nothing else, just chuckles and walks off. Oh god. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, the, the bog fairy is a wave you off with a hearty, uh, we'll bother, cousin Maria. It was not seen. God. <laughs> Let's see you too. Keep the moonshine fucking going to my friends. <laughs> Will do. Alright. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys <laughs> start uh, making your way back. Um, making my way, sorry. Making your way down, down. Um, making my way down, down. <laughs> You guys travel through the uh, the, the pixie forest, and um, as you guys uh, enter, you can hear, like, faint giggling. Um, if you guys Someone put wanna... a kick me sign on the back of my fucking shirt. I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> yeah. Where <laughs> are you speaking up? All right, fuckers. This one, and she points to Indigo, already has a contract with one of you. We're done with this shit. If I see any of you, I'm strangling you. <laughs> Roll intimidation with advantage because you <laughs> yeah. the one. We have to go through the entire pixie forest arc again to. If you fuck it up really badly. <laughs> Jesus God. Christ. Double check. Mm -hmm. My intimidation is a plus six, so for both of these, just add six. So, uh, 25. that would be a 25. 25. With no, a 25, no. the giggling fades out, but there is a kick me sign on the back of Indigo. <laughs> God fucking damn it, I knew it. Are you taking it off? Searing, without trying to get caught, just plucks off of his back. Always goofing off at the back of the party. Okay, real quick, Pen, I think you noticed it before. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. I'm gonna I'm gonna curl up into a bow and just roll. Okay. <laughs> standard pixie maneuvers. I can't I can't I can't mess with Indigo right now. Okay. It's okay. too dangerous. <laughs> too much of a ball sack right now. <laughs> I'm the ball sack. Yes, and as the the ball sack leads you through the forest, this is the stupidest fucking show. Um, <laughs> after thank you everybody. A few Good days night. of travel, you guys make it back to the city of uh, Aluna, and uh, as you guys uh, you are, are just uh, approaching back into the, the city quarters, you can see Scylla just gawking at like the size of all the buildings. Never been out. Yeah, he's see this big Scylla. N no, I mean, the, the buildings are baby. huge. Syrinx writes down on his notebook, that's the same face I was making a month ago. <laughs> are, is everyone who lives here a giant? No, there's yes. a lot. Of yes. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, just... Yeah, Wait, so can 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 uh Pen and I both make persuasion checks because we're both really fucking good at <laughs> Wait, it now? No, is no isn't it deception because you're definitely lying? That is deception, yeah. first of all, absolutely. And also, Pumeria, are you trying to contest? <laughs> can I give a hearty nod? <laughs> She's gonna let it be, but she will specifically explain though the anti magic rules to him. Okay. That's a good idea. <laughs> yes, you do so. Um, okay, but uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and roll uh, persuasion then with advantage? What's your persuasion? persuasion? Oh, wait, wait, you said deception. Uh, liar. deception. Sorry, deception with advantage. I have a plus two. Oh, my persuasion. I have minus one. Okay, I'll roll. Twenty-one or an eighteen. 
21 with a 21 he he is completely he, he is completely falling for it as he just kind of he just stares oh, bug eye just wow <laughs> 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 the fact that Pen and I, for once, agreed yeah. to fuck around with this kid. <laughs> also, I just imagine him, like, riding on, like, the steering scissors or shit, like, Pen's shoulder. Um. <laughs> he probably tried yeah. to, like, stand on Syrinx's shoulder, but Syrinx is just, like, constantly, like, dancing around. Just got <laughs> swatted on accident. Yeah. All right, Syrinx. yeah, so he's just, he, he's just sitting atop Pen's head right now. Searing to speed him. of liquid. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like a cat, you No! <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, no, as Scylla gawks at, like, the sheer amount of people, just definitely overwhelmed by just how many people are, like, in these incredibly, like, busy, uh, um, uh, streets, um, you guys make your way over to the, the court of Amaterasu. Let me get the map. Ah. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, oh. Where is the... Ah. Give me the map! The map! Yeah. 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 The map! The map! Ah, I found the map. It's here. I found it. You can stop oh, hey, yelling now. Oh, it's yeah. here. Oh. <laughs> As, um... He, you guys make it back in, Pork uh, waves you in with a smile and says like, Hey, uh, how'd the mission go? Oh, no. Nice. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> he immediately pulls out some, some of the top shelf drinks. <laughs> Same <laughs> look on your guys' faces. Just indigos. Hey, hey, hey. just gonna go, thank you, as she, like, pulls the glass over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still just kind of, like, a, he, he's just, like, standing, like, in between, like, a, um, you and Fork, though, as he just kind of says, like, um, who, who's... This lady Pomeria? A giant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this Scylla is my friend Fork. He runs and owns this cabaret, and we are employed by him. <laughs> yeah, Fork says sup and holds his uh, hand out for a fist bump, and Scylla just takes a tiny hand and just kind of awkwardly <laughs> places it atop Fork fist. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we were just going to like, take so one of her take one of her hands, like, put it, like, holding it up so where she can talk to Fork, but still yeah. doesn't see what she's saying, and she just mouths, cult child. <laughs> <laughs> Fork just, like, raises his eyebrows and just goes, eee. <laughs> eee. Is this how they greet each other in the cult? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Siren yeah, just uh, immediately walks behind the bar, greets Fork <laughs> with a hug, and then just pours himself a drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fork hugs you tight, just like once again, this very nervously just seeing like, you know, you're unharmed, unscarred. Uh you can see him like visibly relaxed, uh though at seeing that all of you guys seem to be Not relatively dead. fine physically at least. Physically, Mentally, at least. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, work. Uh, anything yeah. interesting happened this year, day, this day? I don't know. Anything interesting happening? <laughs> um, in the bar, it's actually been remarkably quiet, honestly. Yeah, no, just that's a normal amount of people show up. I mean, it's been nice, actually. So, uh, What's next for you guys then, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. We could do a, a heist or something. I have oh, to yeah, go have steal to a painting. <laughs> You're on your own, but you, 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 you should go find a crew or something. He... Not, not the one that he's already a part of? <laughs> nope. He, he raises an eyebrow at uh, having to steal a painting. He says, like, oh, uh, having to steal a. Oh, pixies. Yeah, Syrinx yeah. just writes down pixies. <laughs> <laughs> just takes it out his... List. Uh, from his ponytail and just kind of puts his face down on the bar. <laughs> yeah. It didn't list my advice at all. I told um. him. 
<laughs> yeah, he, 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 he just kind of gives a very sympathetic shrug to you, Pen, which just says, um, which painting, man? The foxy lady. <laughs> he deploys the, the foxy lady that's up in the Highborn District. The exact same. <laughs> he he pulls out <laughs> you you as you're behind the bar steering you can now notice there's just a small cabinet that fork has uh uh laid out for himself that's just like you can you can reach the small thing it just says for emergencies <laughs> as he opens up <laughs> the cabinet and pulls out a bottle of whiskey and pours out <laughs> glasses <laughs> for emergencies <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's really, really bad. Um, You're telling me. Well, yeah, I mean, just saying, like, in order to get into the Highborn District, well, the only people who uh, travel between the Highborn District and us down here um, are just wealthy businessmen, so there's really only one form of proper transportation um and that would be that there is a, a tramway connected uh that runs all the way up and it how is, do we get on that well it is highly secured and you basically need to have some kind of connections in the know in order to you know get tickets to even be on it it's only people who recommend people it's not really a thing that you can just get on as a you know, normal person. Security there is, I hear, ridiculously tight, as it's probably, you know, a pretty prime target for anyone to attack it or rob it or whatever. Zerix, well, wait, Zerix oh. frowns and he just writes down, can't we just ask nicely? That'd be nice. <laughs> If only things worked like that. <laughs> Fork, he just he looks just so sliding sad. Sliding notes in front of Fork. Yeah. He just says, "We will put that maybe on the list." Um. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good try. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I do know people in the Yakuza that might know a thing or two. We have Fauna to ask as well. Um. I look to the others. Um, do any of you know people higher? Syrinx writes down, What is the high district? Syrinx, <laughs> we went over this. It's the floating it's a high district. place everyone goes to get high. <laughs> well, <Bottom. laughs> 420 Paradise. That's what yeah, it's called. It's a bunch of potheads. He he nods what am I slowly, doing? I seeming to, to connect. I should have had you guys just steal a bunch of drugs. Seeming Dude, to connect a few dots, wrong. but as soon as Pen has derailed that conversation, he's gone. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Legends can get contact hype by just walking the vicinity of that. It's just <laughs> terrible. I mean, it's fun, but it's terrible. So it just chimes in real quick and just says like, but I thought smoking like harms your lungs and stuff like that. Should you guys really be doing this? The go is narc. Serious is just like silently cackling in the background. <laughs> yeah, but people still do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's a good part. Yeah, but um. I, I believe you guys the, did say a couple things you did want to talk about here, though. But uh, Indigo did at least put up a good idea for like heading to Vana's. Then you at least have some gold to spend too. And uh, oh yeah, I need some shit. Mm -hmm. I need nothing. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm just hoarding money. Really? <laughs> I have everything I need. Or whatever we get to the casino arc. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. I look to Plumeria and Syrinx, because they primarily know more about magic than I ever fucking will. I would like to show you my eye, if that's okay. Syrinx stops goofing around, and comfortable with that. just kind of nods. 
He takes off his eye patch. What and do he we opens see? Opens his eye. Oh, disgusting! It's just normal human eye. <laughs> <You> motherfucker! <laughs> just a completely normal eye. Just wears the Kick eye patch to look cool. <laughs> show. I just sent it on stream. Ooh, yeah, can I show this on stream? Yeah, please do. Oh, please! Okay. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what if I wanted it, if to it do. Will, with okay, it's centered eyeball. appropriately. <laughs> Yeah, um, so yeah, you guys can see that to an indigo's other eye, um, there appears to be just, like, markings, uh, inside of it, as it appears to be this very odd, inhuman color that definitely doesn't seem natural in any way, shape, or form. If you guys maybe want to roll some arcana checks, Yeah, maybe... so Syrinx gets uncomfortably close, he just gets on the sure bar. Are sure uncomfortably? Because Indigo and Syrinx have had... Syrinx gets comfortably close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm good at that. I will attempt an arcana check. I'm, I'm gonna smart. stare directly into this eye That's to make 11. my crunchiest arcana check. Ooh, I'm That's smart 11 now. With a four. Are you guys ready for this? Plus 11? Plus 12? With a four. A two. Pull up. What the fuck? Jesus <laughs> That's terrible rolls. Good that, thing my bonus is carrying out. us to victory. For okay, real? so Holy shit. Uh with oh, a four Sumeria, uh Indio has homophobia in his eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you what? fucking shit. <laughs> Homophobia in his homophobia. eyes. As opposed to heterochromia, it's homophobia. <laughs> homophobia. Even though he slept with how many different people? <laughs> no, let me please please show the meme for context. I mean let me no. post this up. <laughs> no. No context. No. Just homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> Just for context. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, that's yeah, he funny has homophobia because it is in his blue eyes. and uh, gold. Yeah, it's yeah. accurate. This is indigo um, now. A cat. Pen no! With an <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so pen with an 11. Um, yeah, it's a spooky eye. Probably does some spooky eye shit. <laughs> yeah, shit. Spooky yeah. okay. eye. With an 18. Their rolls uh, are low because Syrinx is blocking their view. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, with an 18, you can definitely tell, like, this clearly has magical properties of some kind. With the information you know, uh, the magical properties of this eye are currently being suppressed. Um, you know, it's currently just in a perfect, like, standstill. So, currently, um, all this eye is is just, you know, an eye with weird runes. If whatever was inhibiting the, the magic was stopped, then this could have some very interesting, you know, magical effects. But I don't know what they are yet. But you don't know where they are within 18. Alright, so after staring at this eye for an uncomfortably long amount of time, Syrinx gives him a quick kiss on the forehead and then jumps back down to the floor. <laughs> he starts writing. No, I have a... I have a spoon here. If, if you want, we can remove no, that. No, please no. I'd <laughs> I can see with this eye. I'd like to let you know. I can see perfectly fine. But it's covered all the time. You don't actually need it. That's because I don't <laughs> want people to see it. Yeah, so we just remove it. No. And that's what the eye patch is for. It's far more easier. Until the eye patch is... I, I hate to admit it, but Ben does have a bit of a point here. I would like to keep my eye, plus okay. I don't know what's going to happen if we attempt to remove it. Apparently it was Mingo. something very fucking important to the church, and I don't know what. I don't know what it does. You you no, know, no, I, the eye can just crush like a grape. <laughs> I so don't just know. Sets what his notebook does. down and slides it in front of everybody. <sighs> it says it appears to have some crazy magical properties, but they're inhibited right now, and I can't tell what they are. Inhibited? Yeah, no, that's spooky. Oh, and he kind of puts his hand to where the the uh, burn mark on his chest is. You're about to say to his titties. To his titties. <laughs> what the bird mark is on his titty. <laughs> that was for the brand. So Searing the brand snouts. is stopping the eye. Mm. Huh. I'd scoop the brand too with the spoon. Um, I I don't know about that either. <laughs> I, I, I don't just know carved it real deep. 
Oh, that's going to hurt a lot, and it's over my heart. Um, I mean, we have a lot of alcohol here. We can just get absolute no, trash. I don't can think that's a good a idea. It's a numbing agent. I don't, think that's, <laughs> I don't think that's how magic works, Pen. It just won't go away like that. You, you haven't tried it yet, have you? No, and I don't want to. I've lived this long. <laughs> A coward, that's okay. I'm not gonna force it to do anything. But we could do that. He thinks for a little while and writes down, we might be able to dispel whatever magic is stopping it. If we want to, that is. And you go to Scoop. Scruggs. You also did say you don't know what it does. It, I don't. I have no idea. So we don't know what's going to happen when it gets dispelled. That, well, Mary, maybe, maybe contrary to your intentions, that seems to have piqued Syrinx's interest. Oh god, <laughs> no. For all we know, it's been building up and dispelling it all at once with no precautions. What if Inigo just You're making pop? it worse, Pumeri, and I really want to know what it does. Oh, Do you god. want to see Inigo go pop? No! Slowly so yeah. shakes his head. <laughs> then we fucking wait until we know some more about this. I mean, why would the church be interested in the night that just go someone go pop? Well, why are they still hunting me down? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It probably doesn't make you just go pop. I don't know what it does. All I know it is probably that probably doesn't it's... make you go pop. I I don't know. Who knows? I all I know <laughs> is that it's important. <laughs> and scoop. And it... And if we fuck around and find out what happens with it, I don't please know do. if I will go pop or not, Pen. So please, no. I don't want that. Thank you. <laughs> it's long enough. You live, what, 120 years? <laughs> 127, and I still would like to live longer than that. Searing slides a note in front of Indigo. <laughs> That's... Oh. I guess I'll have to do more research then. And he winks. He squints his eyes. <laughs> so, Valeria saw the wink. She saw Syrinx kiss Indigo. She's gonna... Didn't Pen tell you not to do this? Because this is the first what? that you've seen of this, I would say, right? She was too mm. drunk to see the... the yeah. Step. Yeah. Syrinx writes down, tell me what. Indigo's just oh, gonna God. put his eye patch back on. <laughs> Okay, I'm not a- See, student. you don't even use the eye. Uh, <laughs> he just puts his hair up and goes to his room. <laughs> He's done I'm, talking with this shit. Wait, don't leave. You're part of this other conversation we also have. What other conversation? You're just telling <laughs> you me want... to scoop my eye out. You're like a pair of parents yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to come down for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what does Scylla and Fork think about all of that's happening right now? You can just see Scylla just kind of like looking confused as Fork is just like, he just has a drink, just like intrigued watching all of the drama go down. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta let my cat just... in. You're good. Flamir was just gonna go, alright, I'm not as strict when as Pen when it comes to this. You make the decisions of dating your co-workers, but if there's fallout, we still all work together for the f like, I don't give a shit what else you do. That's it. Okay? I... <sighs> okay. I know Sirius climbs on people, but I haven't seen him do that to you. <laughs> so... <sighs> I'm just... Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go lay down. <laughs> Mistake. Thank you. I know what I am. And yeah. No. I he goes was to talking about the situation, but but he did it to himself though. Hold up! What did I miss? Ben just <laughs> called Indigo a mistake. Oh. And Indigo thinks I know what I am. <laughs> oh my God! Sam gives Ken a dirty dude. look. That was mean. <laughs> 
I didn't call him a mistake. I, I said what was his, what he was doing was a mistake. But then he agreed that he is a mistake. <laughs> and he goes just going to his room. <laughs> I hope you know you're probably apologizing for that later, right? Yeah, probably. My deathbed. <laughs> God. Damn, Ben. No, I'm gonna say you do that before we go on this fucking mission. It's not good to have rifts when we're doing something so fucking dangerous. But, but then, what am I gonna say in my deathbed? I need to have something. Syrinx just shakes his head. He's got a frown because you've kicked in to go out of the party. <laughs> <laughs> and he just writes down, I feel like I'm missing one or two pieces of information here. Probably more. No one says anything. He was not there. <laughs> Thinking. Wait, what, what, what was the situation again? I should... The Highborn District. Highborn District? Wait, are we stealing the, the, the thing now? That's what we do. doing? Hey? No, I, I... This is a day off day. I mean, we're still... Yeah. I use my grand veto power as the technical leader of this fucking mess. That's a day off day. How long was I told that Indigo had to get that painting back, by the way? A month, I believe? A month. A month. Yeah, a month sounds about right. And it probably so took us a week to do this whole journey there and back. Mm -hmm. so I think, about three weeks yeah, left. Yeah, Syrinx writes down, according to the Pixies, we only have about three weeks to get this painting back to them. Yeah. And we it does seem like your first time. course of action is to find some way to the Highborn District, by the way, so... Okay, we could we ask around. Go to Vana. Um, there's that Blue Lotus gal. They're involved in a lot of business dealings, and that might be a better way. Yeah, I could to get... That's all I can really think of. We could go partying. I mean, lots of fancy boys just go to the trashy places and fuck around because I have money. You know? That's fair, but they probably won't want to talk to me, Pen. It'd probably be either you or Syrinx. I can talk to them. I'm very charming. <laughs> Alright. Can... Syrinx tries not to make a face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he turns to Fork, though, and Passes him a note that says, Do you know anyone in the Highborn District? Uh, not at all, I'm afraid. I mean, I, this, in my opinion, nothing good comes out of, you know, people really associate with the Highborn District, so I try to keep my nose pretty out of that. He frowns and writes in advances. Can't we just pretend we're allowed on the tram? Well, that's dangerous. If people find out you're not supposed to be there, they will boot you off by force. And uh, considering the tram literally just goes upwards, um, they could just, you know, throw you off of a very long height. He winces. Mm. Yeah, let's go down the street and there at least a smidge for at least getting away up there mm. everything else else probably gonna be fair game but uh, I think we should also stop by uh, Trevor's to hopefully get something of a disguise for Indigo so maybe it's not as recognizable maybe a couple small things for the rest of us so we don't stand out I think that's the that's last fair. thing we want. Should also go to Linda. Yeah, you know, get oh, fancy yes. characters. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're not here. But yes. 
Maybe Linda knows someone in the Highborn district. Oh. Maybe. 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 Okay, so the plan is we, we Trevor, Linda, Vanna, or Vanna, Linda, Trevor. And Trevor, then Linda, Vanna. Yeah. Hi, Indigo. Oh hi! No, I'm. This is Izzy. You're. This is your subconscious. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Get out of here. This is your hey, dementia. You, you, it's my dementia dementia. kinky yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the voices in my head said the plan is, wanna, Linda, Linda. Trevor. Yeah. Syrinx right? shrugs. Is that right, there's dementia? no. There's no <laughs> difference in his head. <laughs> yes. That that sounds right. I mean, we could go to the party too. That could work. I have I have a plan. If need be, we keep our options open. <laughs> Syrinx claps once and looks around <laughs> for the yeah, next conversation piece. I think I, yeah, I think the conversation has died here. Okay. I mean, do you guys wanna talk about anything else or because we have bats. As soon as you say that, Pen Syrinx pours himself another drink. God. <laughs> yeah, it's over. Dementia 2, go ahead. Take it over. <laughs> now, right away. Indigo's right. still in his room. You should probably Indigo's get still him. in his room. Well, that's where Syrinx is going. Indigo to sulk. To unsulk, <laughs> unsulk Indigo. Yeah, Plura, Plura will go join him. Okay. Syrinx and Blumera, you head up to, to Indigo's realm. Um, I not. Yeah. Because that's polite. <laughs> I'm in. Syrinx just sticks his head in. And he waves. Then he points to Indigo's Plumeria. Indigo's just kind of <laughs> chilling on his bed and he looks over, kind of confused. What's going on? your boss, I would prefer to check up on you and make sure you're doing okay. I'm fine. That is not the tone of fine. Deception! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Do I need to roll insight then? It's my insight. Oh, yeah. oof. 13. 13 versus your insight. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's deception with disadvantage. No, I think it's fair. Yeah, it's obvious. It's Mary. Obviously yeah. Yeah. Things are I'm definitely fine. not. <laughs> they are not. They are definitely not. <sighs> well, I just need to get over it, I suppose. Syrinx frowns. Indigo just kind of gets up and he dusts off his pants and puts his hair back in a ponytail and uh, hooks his sword onto his hip again. Where to? No, Bless you. <laughs> Sorry, the cat sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> For today, nowhere. I'm dubbing this a rest day. For everyone. Okay. And then tomorrow? Tomorrow we head out. We go to Trevor Fonda Linda's. Disguises and information. You know you don't have to help me with this painting heist. It was my fault that I said my name in the first place. And what kind of fucking leader would I be if I didn't help out those underneath me? I guess you're right. But still, I'm sorry to have to drag you into my mess again. Things could be worse. Yeah. We could still be in that fucking loop for how That's long so is. true. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm so glad that's over. I'm sick of dying. <laughs> You yeah, know, that's understandable. That was not a good experience. No.
I'm gonna fucking kill you all. <laughs> what the hell? The lamp falls on your head and you wake up back in the list. <laughs> well, hey there, cousin Blue Mary. <laughs> I would strangle someone. <laughs> what, did, what would you guys do if I got to the end of the campaign and then, like, someone dies and I just say, well, hey there, cousin Blue Mary. I would drive you all the way to your house. You I would all kill, kill you. If you do this, I, I, I will love it so much. The <laughs> next time we TPK, that happens. Go ahead. Cyrix has just been, like, standing off to the side writing notes and like tearing off pieces of paper for like that entire conversation Do you want well to? um yeah, oh go sorry go it. ahead ah go i'm well, polymer is gonna turn to serious did you want to contribute anything to this conversation <laughs> he looks over the pieces of paper in his hands and he hands one to Indigo, and one to Plumeria. You choose who goes first. Go ahead. Plumeria says, I've had something similar happen to me before, and I hate not to help out. I read I nine. Forgot what you said. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I remember. Uh, it says... If it makes you feel any better, I've decided I'm not- I'm going to ignore Penn's advice. He gets a small smile at that. A little one. At reading her note, I'm gonna go- You've run in with Pixies as well. Sorry, can you repeat that? No, you're good. Um, I didn't process any of that. <laughs> no, you're good. She goes-, she goes you ran into Pixies as well, then. Had not had a great interaction, I assume. He nods slowly, kind of looking between the two. He writes down, You know how I was so excited when I said I'd relearned my sister's name? Oh shit, you lost her name to them? He writes, Pixies were some of the first fairies that I'd run into. Not a good experience. They took quite a few things from me, but... You learn to live. Fuck, that is definitely... Not an ideal first meeting. He shrugs, and he writes down, It could have been much, much worse. You are not wrong there. He's just got that fake smile on his face. Well, maybe by chance, maybe we'll find some more shit in the city that might help you out as well. But, uh, for now, one problem at a time. He deal with the Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was just gonna say we just we deal with the painting first. Yeah, he nods and he writes down. Well, if anything, I have her name now and I guess I'll just search wherever I am. Let's start. Indigo, I'll talk to Penn as well. This is... I know he's not a people person to start, but... I'll see what I can do to get him to tone it down. We appreciate it, but... If you can't, I understand. Pen is... Pen. It's the best way I can put it. Yeah, he's always been like it as far as I've known him. I mean, he threatened to eat an entire caravan of cheese when I met him. What? Wait, hold on. An entire... <laughs> what? That's how Penn and I met. I mean, we were both... I sit the fuck down. <laughs> Same. We were both hired to just 
basically guard a caravan to travel and when Penn had learned that we had gotten paid differently because uh, I'm a fae he threatened to eat the entire caravan if I didn't get paid equally to him hmm see things like that make me proud of Penn and proud that I work with him but then he said such mean things that it makes me sad that that's how he portrays himself does that make sense? it does he I mean from you can assume from what we learned at the tower he's definitely seen a lot and not dealt yes. with a lot great stuff and that that fucks with a person I can only imagine I assume though he'll knock on wood grow on you a little bit he has in a way it's just sometimes sometimes I can't exactly say anything back because he, writes down, he has a very strange way of worming his way into your head yes the exact fucking that's exactly what that yep that's it <laughs> well I suppose this is where it starts with helping you stand up for yourself and fucking giving it back to Penn a little bit cause uh he can take a bit of it you know one of the options the fairies gave me or the fairies I'm sorry pixies gave me was to pull a very mean prank on a friend and not tell them it was me or why I did it I could have uh, See, I could have, but I'm too <laughs> nice. You know, I was going to say, uh, that's a good scenario for doing that, but I think Penn might have actually killed you. Um, <sighs> yeah. yeah. It's, hard to, it's hard to tell when he'll go off on things and when he won't. Yes. I still, I still, I still can't get that down. 25 mm. years, not a damn thing. Hmm. Hmm. Can I make a perception check to see if he's listening in? Pen is? Yeah. You, yeah, sure. Pen, are you actually trying to listen in? Or? Nah, Pen is okay. okay. In another room. Okay. I was just curious. <laughs> you look outside and you see Pen picking his nose. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Eats the booger. Oh, oh God, no. why? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, well, if you're good in the meantime, I'll go give him that talk. I appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, let me know if any of either of you need anything for at least the rest of the day. I mean, we'll just be sticking around the cabaret for no. providing as much alcohol as you require. <laughs> I'm pretty okay, honestly. I should probably go to Lady Kikyo. I haven't seen her in a minute, and I know she's probably worried. Very fair. I'll be off then. He nods his head as a goodbye. And Plumeria will go back to find Pen. Leaving them. God. <laughs> what the fuck is Pen doing? Are Pen, Fork, and Scylla just throwing a party? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what, what we're what just Penn singing. <laughs> Is Pen, oh just playing, is Pen just playing the knife game on forked counters oh he looks on in fear? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Fork uh, is like actually like, okay. and Fork just playing the knife game, uh, singing no, Fantasy Billy Joe. Oh, <laughs> my God. Just, uh, uh, piano, man. <laughs> Still is absolutely <laughs> fucking losing it with like, yeah, just like can't imagine. He, he just like uh, assumes you're totally freaking perfect. And this Fork is like trying to convince you like, wait, no, please don't do this. <laughs> Chaos is ensuing. 
<laughs> oh, what the fuck? This is why I can't leave you supervised, Pen. <laughs> what? Do you mind stop stabbing into the mah mahogany and have a talk? Fork just like cowering in the corner. No, not quite in the corner, just like far enough away that, but like, just he just has like his like hands covering his face, just like in red terror. <laughs> Uncertain if Ben's actually gonna stab himself. Uh, sure, Flora. As mm -hmm. Ben is leaving, I, I'm gonna try to use sleight of hand and minor illusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> And make it seem that Spence is gonna stab right through his hand. Oh yeah, god. okay! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> go ahead and do I roll? Yeah, just go with sleight of hand. <laughs> DC 18. Sleight of hand. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Four passes out. Oh no! You, you're okay. just imagining like you you have the full effects. You have everything. Like you you even taken like a fucking ketchup packet in your hand, and then you've just fucking like Jesus you you fucking Christ. like switched it at the right moment so the fucking ketchup goes everywhere and fork just straight up passes out as the ketchup hits him dead center. Ah. Oh my god! It's <laughs> <laughs> literal, literal fainting goat. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> still, still a gasp for a second, but like, do you show him the trick? I'm assuming. I show still the trick. I show, <laughs> I show my actual hand from my sleeve. <laughs> he claps with the whole light and then says, "Oh, I should probably do something about this," and goes to go help for. Yeah, oh, gonna. Yeah, Flora will have Scylla just like be like, you know, Phantom, just give him some water. <laughs> Keep yeah. him up. Right? He's doing so. <laughs> And then now that she's um, having a conversation with Ben. Well, as fun as that was, um, we need to have a bit of a talk, Ben. Uh, I know you said you were all right with Indigo joining, but to be frank, it, you've been acting like a dick to him as much as I've seen. It's kind of hard to run with a group and know that you can trust the others to have your back when there's discourse between a few. Is there a reason you're specifically choosing to pick on Indigo? I'm gonna be real here. It kind of reminds me of me when I joined the Flower Boys. Oh shit, Deep Floor. <laughs> He's just young and dumb and he thinks that things are good. At least from what I've seen. It's also off like I was. I was hotter though. <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, so ben, it's I, 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 it's. I mean, it's hard for him to even get experience when he hasn't even had the chance. Would you say that for yourself? I mean, you can't learn unless you. I didn't say that learn. myself. I uh, I had someone to do that. And, uh, he, and, and he didn't. I mean, he told us he's basically. You know, a closet child for his existence, because he went outside. What? You know, if he... He couldn't experience existence in fear of getting snatched again. Yeah. Me. I'm being too harsh on the boy. I know you probably mean That's... well. I think I do. And I think it's mostly just 
passing along the things I thought worked on me. I probably didn't. I think I'm, I'm being messed up in the head. This is so sad. I don't like uh, this anymore. <laughs> well, people learn different, Pen. I know you probably got taught one way and I got taught one way. I mean, uh, I know I got, I got the shit kicked out of me by my mentor, but that doesn't always have to be the case with everyone. I mean, she meant well, but... Yes. Yeah. That... Our mentors are... were really weird people. I mean, to be fair, I went to her... so I had to put up with mostly any terms. Oh, like... six. Same here. It was like... It was like the... the muscle of the... the group, but... It was me. I mean, I had to go out... find her in the fucking forest where I was from. Oh, I didn't, didn't have... I don't remember fighting the guy. <laughs> I mean, I basically... Oh, I mean, I got my ass kicked by her. Multiple oh, times. Fuck. By her initially telling me to fuck off, I am not teaching you shit. And then she finally oh. relented once you, I... You mean the, the, the introduction beat up? I, that, that one I remember. I don't remember a second one. Mine was... <laughs> and mine was many. She refused to teach yeah. me the first ones. Yeah, that was rough. Yep. Yeah. People were fucked up back then, weren't they? Why would they be young people? Just oh fuck! I sh I, sh I really should go easy on Indigo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I mean, this hits really hard. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Pen, my mentor is unseely, and she was already a little bit iffy on Faye, so it's like she had a reason, and I don't blame her. But like, we got technically Indigo. So probably training. wasn't that good. But but it worked. The yeah. end. You're you're a fine good person. And I I mean I learned about what she is truly like. Yes. But now we have Indigo to train, and now we have Silla to train. As we look over and see him just reviving yeah. Fork's <laughs> nose, splashing water on Fork's face, God. kind of <laughs> awkwardly trying to slap him awake. He's just got a <laughs> napkin and he's just like fanning it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That boy is in trouble. Which one? Both. <laughs> but yeah, I... I knew you weren't... a fucking asshole, Pen. There, I knew there I had to be I, I know you are, but like... <laughs> not, oh, okay, as, not as specific as, as you had been to Indigo. That That wasn't as normal for you. Fair. I'm gonna dive back a little. You're probably say sorry to the boy right now, but I think it's too late right now. We should, we should do that tomorrow. Give him, give him some cool off time. Yeah. You think Fork's gonna wake up anytime soon? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I don't know, but he left out everything on the counter for us to drink. So. Oh god. Yeah, I should go do that. <laughs> oh my god. I, we go over and we teach Scylla how to do, like, bomb shots. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor Scylla. <laughs> you do so as Scylla's like, Sh should we do something about... A okay, I mean, I guess we'll be up in a minute. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> as so you fun. guys leave, we're passed out body there oh, for god. a hot minute. I guess, uh, unless there's anything Wait, else, we'll take a break. I had break. questions. I was ah. going to say, Syrinx oh. and Indigo were being left alone in the room. Yeah, that's I, safe. Oh, God. <laughs> right after Why? 10, Syrinx right. holds up a note and it says, I had some questions for you, but if you want to be left alone, I can ask them later. No, that's, that's fine. Uh, what were your questions? Okay, he sits the fuck down. I have them written down. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. Hmm. And he writes down. 
You remember what Penn said? Not the first time, or the second time, but the first time where you said we shouldn't talk to each other? Yes. He goes- <laughs> he's a little bit more serious now, like he's like, oh, okay, it's this talk. Put sunglasses on him like weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> yes. Uh, he writes down, I don't know whether or not I should trust him, truthfully. But I don't want to, but I don't want that to be a mistake. Not that I think it's because of you, but because of me. Indigo is quiet for a bit before looking... He, he's, like, looking down at his lap just to, like, you know, think and contemplate before looking back up at Syrinx making eye contact. If you don't want us to have any sort of relationship, that's okay. I'm sorry if it seemed like I was trying to force you or anything. I just... I... He shakes his head. No. No. And he just writes down... I think I just don't understand. I think Penn is trying to say that relationships with work aren't exactly always good. Take Natasha, for example. I worked with her and, you know, that kind of went to shit. Unintentionally, I might add. It, that That's kind of an extreme case. She was kind of crazy. Yes, very much so. Um, but I guess in general, a rule of thumb is say we break up and it's a bad breakup or we're on bad terms we'd still have to be working together and it'd make things difficult I think he that's what Ben is trying to say he's a little bit confused and he writes down why would I make that difficult uh, say you didn't want to be around me anymore it's happened before Not you, but others. Just makes a very contemplative face. Me just writes down. I think I've just experienced things differently in the Feywilds. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Just I'd like for us to work out properly, not just some fling, not some work assignment I I've only ever fell in love once and it didn't turn out very well for me he frowns and I guess trying to fill the hole in my heart from not only that but other things I've just kind of thrown myself out there to others and that's why I have seven exes now six <laughs> now six. Oh god, we now killed six. one. Natasha! <laughs> um, it's not exactly healthy, obviously. But I'm willing to learn how to be better and make an actual healthy relationship established. Um, but like I said, if that's not what you want. If you do not want to be with me, that's fine. And I completely understand and respect your wishes. He actually takes Nigo's hand and then puts it down so he can write. <laughs> and he just writes down, I guess I was just not understanding what did you want out of this. Oh, he's taken aback by that shit. <laughs> Ah, you've bamboozled him. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. Ah, uh, what I want? No one's ever asked me that before. Syrinx blinks. I guess what I want in a relationship is just to 
feel like I'm not alone. Sir so feel... blinks again. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Nemo. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> I I want to feel not alone. Like I can count on someone to be there for me in any situation. And I have that with Kikio, but that's a mom thing. What I want is somebody to have equal respect for me as I for them in a romantic way. I'm unfortunately a hopeless romantic with all the stupid romance novels I apparently have in my room. <laughs> Syrinx just looks over to the bookshelf. He's kicking some scrolls under the bed. Oh no. <laughs> some fanfics. It's oh, the saucier no. one. <laughs> Hanging the Maya Mortal scroll underneath. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what I want. Indigo, you seem to have violently confused Syrinx. He just writes down, wrong. really? Y yes. What did you think I wanted? He stares at his notebook. <laughs> You have a list or something? <laughs> There's nothing written on the page. And he just it... shrugs. And he just writes down. I guess I was expecting something takeable. What, like sex? <laughs> he shakes his head. <laughs> and he writes down. I... Well, the last time I trusted someone with a relationship... He actually stops writing. Ooh. He thinks to himself really hard. He writes down. I guess there things <laughs> she <laughs> things yeah. that I've been trusted to know that I am not allowed to tell people that that person wanted. Hmm. What do you want? He kind of, this kind of picks up the smile back on his face and he says, he, he writes down, uh, I don't know, but what you wanted sounded pretty nice. Aww. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> fucking Christ. Indigo takes his hand and asks, well, do you want to try and be a relationship then a good healthy one not whatever we've had in the past please don't try to murder me after this <laughs> please don't try to kill me and steal all my secrets thank please. you he nods he lifts up uh, Syrinx's hand and gives it a, the back of it a kiss Syrinx feigns the most dramatic like <laughs> oh, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> and then he writes down something else in the notebook, and it's Twitch censored. Oh God! I did. <laughs> Fade the black. Fade the black. Run, run away. <laughs> we go to fifteen minute break. <laughs> we go to fifteen Christ. minute break, and we again <laughs> go steal. I'll harvest all the information that Vana has for the fifth time. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Time, time to go. <laughs> As Penn's probably shaded sage advice is ignored, everything goes to shit moments later. Yep. <laughs> Kitties. 
Yeah, we should be back at on the hour. Yeah, we will be back. Yeah, at 8 p.m. CST. Here's the BRB page. We'll see uh -huh. you all there. Why? <laughs> he died from a concussion last night. No, oh, he, no. he's good. He's good. So Fork's awake. <laughs> we go eat brekkies. Mm -hmm. And we go over to Vana's. <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah, you, you head your way there. I don't know why, but I just imagined you're, like, taking Scylla with you on, like, a child leash or something. <laughs> I'm not gonna degrade him like that. <laughs> oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, you guys will uh, get to the Armonomicon and new map. I don't know what the fuck this is. Wait, <laughs> let me delete that. Um... Yeah, you, you see Vana say like, um, oh, hey, you guys, uh, what's up? Um, just give me a second here. As you can see that she's currently fiddling around with like a small cart. And atop the cart, there appears to be like, well, what you guys out of game will understand looks like a, an old analog TV. Like the the kind that like you'd wheel in to, to watch Magic School Bus. Yeah, um, when your teachers are hungover and don't want to teach. Yep, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, she she's currently just, like, setting it up, and, like, Scritch is just, like, excitedly just, like, uh, uh, sitting in a chair in front of it, uh, just holding uh, his eggs and just, like, <laughs> uh, a, a bunch of different baby bjorns. Oh my god. Um, just strapped all over his body. Yes. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, just like a tactical vest like Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Searing walks up to it and starts poking it. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, and uh, Ivana's like quickly finishing up the last few touches of our plug in this wire there, and done. Okay, I think it should be ready. Um, and uh, Scritch pulls out what looks like a, a small VHS tape uh, and pushes it in. Um, and after some brief uh, static and rewinding the video, um, you can see the, the title logo appear um, as it appears to be the, the sappy rom-com uh, called Tweet Hearts. Um, about... My fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, <laughs> it's about uh, this uh, um, this, this hummingbird kangaroo lady. Um, as she she's torn between uh, the, these two men that are vying for her attention. Um, <laughs> as... is absolutely enamored with this. <laughs> yeah, just watching it with Scritch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a little hard to understand because there's no actual dialogue. It's literally just like bird noises. Perfect. But <laughs> body language, it it really speaks a lot to it. <laughs> yeah. As uh Vana says like um, hey, uh, anything I can get you guys though in terms of uh magical items or whatnot? As uh you guys do have some gold to to spend if you guys want to check out the Kassoon link. Before I get to the next pop point, pop off. I have that. <laughs> uh, ten resources still. Uh, While well, you look for shit, uh, Flare is gonna pipe up. I know you have mostly magic stuff, but do you have any regular armor? This one, and she pushes push Scylla forward, has armor made out of grass. I would prefer that he <laughs> doesn't. Um. Yeah, so she, Scylla just kind of like, uh, he, he, he nervously just kind of like waves as uh, Vana says like, oh, and who might this be though? <laughs> Vana, this is Scylla, Scylla Vana. Uh, Scritch, Scylla, Scylla Scritch. Uh, I summoned him from a card. <laughs> <laughs> Vana's eyes like kind of like go wide as she says, ooh, deck of many things. Ooh, wow, that's, huh. Yeah. Interesting. So right. old Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> old Yu-Gi-Oh kind of oh deal, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, um, Stella just kind of looking back towards you, Plumeria, just looking very nervously at Scritch and just kind of just like mouthing like, he's a big bird? 
We're all giants I... here. <laughs> <laughs> Scritch, are there no Kenku training with you as well? Or are Kenku just shunned? What's a Kenku? What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kenku are like bird people, basically. How much were arrows again? I'm so sorry. Uh, god, I think I said it was like. Yeah, where the fuck did I say it? It's regular arrows, just like. No, I said I made oh, some magical yeah. arrows. I think it was ten for, um, one gold for the elemental type. If you want. Mm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. And so she says, uh, "Yeah, I can get him fitted for some some actual proper armor, though." Um. Just start a tab for it. Armor set. <laughs> a better sword and shield, please. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, she she gets him fitted for uh, all of those things um, and begins to, to hammer away uh, in the back. So, yeah, you, you can purchase whatever armor and supplies you, you want for Scylla. <laughs> um, I need to double check what armor he can probably use. Yeah, he, he's currently based off a uh, fighter stat block, so he could currently use any armor. Okay. Just put him in like a whole kettle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might, but I don't want him to be like shaky like I was. <laughs> um, but you know, so just let me know like wh which like actual armor types you're getting, and you know, the those cost the normal type. For you, you have the price list for armor, and normal weapons, and stuff, right? Yeah, I have it pulled up. I think, yeah, I'll buy him some chain, and does he technically have a shield already, or no? Uh, no, he probably, yeah, he does not. He just has his little sword. He just has a fucking pinprick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'll mark off, uh, 85, uh, for, wait, how much, what is his strength? Because that chain has a strength, like, requirement. Um, do do do. You just want to give Kate a bluff. 13? <laughs> oh no! Um, He's strength-based! Uh, well, is he strength-based? It, it requires a 13 strength in order to wield properly without any sort of disadvantages. Let me see what his actual strength was. Ba -ba -ba. And before he's dex-based. <laughs> he has 14 strength. He's good. God. Oh no, I have to give him a ring mail because... Oh no, I'm I'm stupid. I'm looking at the fucking armor class and I'm like, oh no, he's below oh. it. But no. <laughs> yeah, uh, buying him chainmail and a shield. So, whatever EC you have for him, it should be 18. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like, yeah. it, it was like abysmally low before. It was like 13 or something. Yeah, I think I actually said it was like yeah, um, something along those lines. Um, yeah, no. What I'm actually just going to do is I literally had like a fucking like CR one monster stat block. Oh god. Um, and I'm gonna upgrade him to a, a proper like sidekick character. I'll figure out how to do that my next session. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'll mark off the gold for that at least for now. Um, yeah. And I will trust you to make sure to note that he is wearing chain and has a shield. <laughs> yes, he he's now properly armored. Um. You yeah, know, actually looks like he he actually spent a little bit of time like in the field as like a bit of a merc instead of just like this little farm boy. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, oh, um, Vaughn has given him a little cape too, and he's very enthusiastically just like fluttering Aww. the cape about. <laughs> so, oh, I was gonna say, I don't think we asked what was uh, Scylla's uh, fate characteristic. Oh, um, <laughs> I have a cape. What is this? Do do do. match. I swear. <laughs> no, it's more like a superhero cape. Like yours is not like a superhero cape, right? Like. No, mine's like more of a Batman yeah. cape. <laughs> yeah, because you're edgy. Batman is a superhero. <laughs> um, okay. I think I already. Now we already did brownies for Indigo. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like this one. His hands never look dirty. <laughs> He's just a very clean-looking boy. Yeah. He's a clean boy. He's a very clean boy. Oh, God. <laughs> not, it fits. Not a speck of dirt to be found on this lad. 
Yeah. Um, um, can I? Hold on. Never mind. Thanks. That's a lot of fucking money. I lied. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, no. Um, if there's anything else in terms of items, though, nope. uh, otherwise, we'll get to the next plot point. I spent 15 gold for a shit ton of arrows. I've already yes, put you them do, in my though. Thing. Okay, cool. <laughs> I doubt you want to know every fucking thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> Staring is just right, still staring um, at the TV. Okay, yeah, staring <laughs> as you're staring at the the TV. Um, it, it, it cuts to commercial as uh, Squitch lets out a bit of a sad coo. Um, Staring's, and uh, his expression does not change. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes you through some like some basic like ads of just like some sky mall shit. Like you know, you could buy like a fucking tennis ball cleaner. Um, just, just like Tennis weird things cleaner. that you can buy, um, and then there's a commercial. the The next one uh, is just this big flashy one that just suddenly says "the best of the best," um, and, and it uh, is it, doing that in that like '80s like flashing like logos where it just kind of like slowly oh approaches God. the screen, um, as it says, "Hey there, you, you watching this video." Do you want to win a all expenses paid trip to the uh, one of the nicest hotels in Aluna? Um, nice as it's yeah, as it shows this uh, this very nice looking uh, hotel um, that's uh, just like surrounded by like sun and uh, appears to currently be in the Highborn district. Um, and uh, the, the the voiceover continues to like, then you got to prove that you are the best of the best. Um, <laughs> We're looking for uh, for for people um, who uh, you know how to are, are are smarter than the average person, or stronger than the average person to to really uh, show their stuff. And if you think you could be the the best of the best, then you could win uh, um, a, a lot of gold uh, in addition to to this trip. <laughs> the commercial <laughs> says you could win a lot of gold, an unspecified amount. Gold. An unspecified just amount of gold. gold. Just Searings and Plumeria, the smartest and the strongest. I'm <laughs> <How> smart. <laughs> the robot voice. <laughs> when I'm smart. God. <laughs> but yeah, no, something about that commercial was very notable to you, Searings. Yeah, no, Searings. Okay, so Searings has been has not been exposed to media before. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he's gonna see this and then just immediately think that it's tailored for him. <laughs> <laughs> and he just starts poking everyone in the party. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's apparently some contact information like about this show. Um, it appears to be like a, a game show, and like you can see like there's a place where auditions are, are being held. Uh, uh, about a day from now. <laughs> Sings just writes down the address. And shoves it in Plumeria's hands. Um. Uh, should we get disguises for this? Probably. Why? Well, at least for you. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't think we're yeah. recognizable. I mean, no offense, Sirix, but you are, in a sense, a living disguise because you don't always mm. look the same. Sirix blinks. <laughs> I mean, it's neat, but like. Say you meet someone on a fall day, and then you do some shit, and then oh no, the next day you're spring. Hmm. They won't find you. <laughs> Sirinx blinks. It's the <laughs> he idea takes of the it. paper back and writes, "We could win a vacation." <laughs> totally missing the purpose way... of the commercial. Or we can win a way to get to the island. Searing goes, he makes a face where he's like going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> a hamster wheel in his brain kicked in. <laughs> the dots, they're connecting. <laughs> I mean, it all makes sense now. I mean, this is an interesting way to do it, but. Can if, we pull this off? Yeah. If this doesn't work, we have to keep looking, but this is. This could be one avenue that we go. Yeah. Um, Vana will mention, by the way. So wait, you're thinking about actually like uh, applying for a game show then? Uh, we just need to get up into the Highborn District. Indigo, I will let you explain because that 
is he your thing? <laughs> Basically, we should not be... Well, I should not be recognized. Um, I accidentally gave my name away to a pixie who wants a uh, painting of a foxy lady, and the only way I can do that is to get there. It's a whole mess of things. Uh, yeah. Ooh, yeesh. Yeah, um... I mean, the other alternative way I could think of is, you know, trying to, you know, just uh, mount an assault on the tram and try to hijack one, but uh, that would be distinctly more overt for people who are trying to steal something sneakily. Um, I thought, mm hmm Yeah, this isn't a terrible idea, all things considered. Um, yeah, it's like I, it was fated to be or something. Yeah, weird. <laughs> it works, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, what I else does the this, color box um, teach me? <laughs> <laughs> um, the the color box uh, teaches you that uh, the the healthiest thing to do um, if you're in a relationship where you uh, you don't like the other person is instead of being honest with the other person, it teaches you to just cheat on them with like uh, wow. some. Wow! <laughs> oh, we're watching trash TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you watch the rest of the rom com with Scratch. God. <laughs> Cigarettes are good for you. <laughs> well, now that Syrinx's brain is rotted away to the TV gods, <laughs> may you continue on. It's actually one point from your intelligence. No, for watching, no! For watching Trash TV. No, no. <laughs> Stupid. Um, but you know, Vana will at least just mention though, but like, um, if you guys want to get on the show specifically, I know, like, with these auditions and stuff like that, um, I might have a bit of a guilty pleasure of watching some of these game shows and the the people that they have on there. I mean, they they're not like they they're very exaggerated. They're people who have a lot of drama in between each other because you know that makes good TV. You don't want to see like a bunch of people getting along. They want to see people fighting with each other. Or maybe that's I just me. Just to to look <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm actually just a bad person for thinking that. <laughs> I have done nothing today. I've been this lich. <laughs> and you stare at me. <laughs> I have my, my best behavior. <laughs> for now. But yeah, I mean, just putting this out there, like, any way you can bring the drama in any sort of way would definitely make you more interesting for the audition. Eh. Mm. So how uh, do we make ourselves look super extra? Six just uh, but, has uh, but, stars uh, in his uh, eyes. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, uh, how long do you think this audition takes? One hour? Less than that. About an hour. Yeah, I I, I have an idea. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, I was just gonna pretend to act like a friend of mine, and she thrives on being petty, and uh, she can be snooty when she wants to. It's quite fun. <laughs> You you, you 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 all have have plans to to go syrinx what's your I mean, idea? syrinx is mine i'm i'm gonna be the loudest trashiest person around <laughs> i sense i said i feel a like creeping dread looming <laughs> up my spine <laughs> oh i i can't wait syrinx <laughs> claps yeah, if you guys figure out a plan now, it'd probably be easier to prepare for it. I mean, Ken and I have some down. Good. Tradition. He passes Normally. Vana a note and it just says, how do we get there? <laughs> <laughs> um, she, she writes you down a set of directions. It's not too terribly far to, to get there, and it seems to take, you know, a fairly straightforward route. You guys have about like a, a day to prepare though as the auditions seem to start tomorrow and we'll say they last for like 
a few days if you really need a couple of days to prepare. I look to the group, confused. I don't know what to do. Uh, just be you. That gonna work. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, sorry, but but not trying to be mean, but it is gonna work though. Being myself. Yeah. I mean, you you got the titties out. Got you got some. My titties out. are <laughs> enclosed by <by> abs. <laughs> Oh yeah, the opposite. Yeah, that out. works. <laughs> I'm just uh, my my abs are hidden and my titties are out for this. I have to wear a corset. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah, just don't wear a shirt. That's good. <laughs> right. Wait, wait, out of character. Is he your? You guys are slowly I setting up a fantasy jersey source situation. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> God. Is you remember that uh like sheer like sleeve shirt thing? Indigo wears oh that in a corset. Oh my <laughs> god. I found okay, cool, thank you. <laughs> cool, thanks, bye. I'll see you in half an hour with a fully completed work of art. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I wasn't gonna do it right fucking now. Oh, okay. I, mean, I could, but I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm finding it so I can share. Syrinx gonna be syrinx, that's that also is gonna work. Flamara and I are gonna do characters. Syrinx writes down on a piece of paper and hands it to Flamaria. Says, am I allowed to use magic for this? Absolutely not. This is... This is, this is on air? He sighs. Yeah, can... did, did you see the TV? Yeah, Adam, I'm wait, sorry. Adam, is our... Is like the TVs? Are they part of the like regular technology of the time, or it, regular it ish? So basically, what I'm just going to say in terms of like the actual technology is that like a it's like the one thing that's maybe powered by like crystals or anything like that. It's technically borderline magic, but it's one of those magic things where like you know it, it's it's popular enough in the highborn district that like most people tend to just turn a blind eye to like. You know, it technically being illegal. Okay. Okay. Found it. God. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, but what about my mark on my chest? Can use some makeup. Oh. Yeah. And ask Trevor for his opinion when we go to him next. That's very true. Uh, so he's so, going to Linda, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Linda's too afterwards. Or you can <laughs> wear like a sash, like a cross, but it specifically. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> now I'm drawing it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fashion, it doesn't have to make sense. Um, Cecilia so, so just kind of says, like, so we just need to be like me mean to each other? Oh, Scylla. Oh. I'll be, yeah. Scylla, try and be mean to me, please. I. He he just kind of like scoffs and just says, "I can be mean. I can be mean." And he just like he he, he struts right up to you in the air and he says, "You, frickin' fricker," and he walks away, <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, the voice too precious. <laughs> I look to Plumeria. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> he shoots you a thumbs up. Don't you know? No, you don't shoot a thumbs up if you're trying to be mean. <laughs> he shoots you a thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> we we can say I shoot him a bird. <laughs> <laughs> we can say Stella is an assistant or something or <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> still, still oh. this is this is how you do it. And like Flamera like faux turned it into go and like oh, oh, boy. Pretend, to, pretend to like I have offered myself I hate pretend this. Pretend to like flash out a fan and like look into go up and down and go. 
You're pretty enough, but I'm sorry, you look far too poor for me to be speaking to you right now. Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> I, I look shocked, and I, like, clutch my pearls that aren't there. So you're covered his mouth. <laughs> I like the idea that Plumeri just has a fan on her. Yes, like one of those snap fans that are really yeah. loud. Yeah. Just just out of nowhere. <laughs> she was going to ask Trevor for one. <laughs> no, you just pull one out of nowhere. <laughs> I like that better. One. She just has one. That's canon now. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Only for her, though. Well, I think if we have our general idea here, and if we've thought enough things... The Trevors? Um, yeah, that sounds Trevors, yeah. good. Serious notes. <laughs> Yep. Thank you once again for the interesting info, Fauna. Yeah, thanks. That's kind of what I'm here for in the story. God. <laughs> we go. Wait, I, wait. I want what? to check on the eggs. All right, what you do that. So. Um, yeah, so I mean, to the eggs, like, uh, they're, they're, they're much bigger than the other ones. They they look perfectly fine. Um, the other two eggs are a bit, like, smaller than the others. Wait, aren't these oh. eggs I got from a magic bean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. the, yeah, so the, the two eggs that Squitch has, they, they, they appear just, like, well and fine. Why um, is one of these, like, half? I don't know. <laughs> I, I had to get rid of a lot of scribbles to clear up space. I think I might have ruined some faces. Uh, go ahead and roll me nature. Anyone who's uh, curious yeah, about the eggs at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. My nature is awful, but I must. Me mm. too. Yeah. <laughs> 15. 24. 24. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With a, a 15 and a 24. You guys can tell the eggs from the bag of beans. They're they're not like fertilized eggs. They're they're not gonna hatch anything. Oh, Sing so just gets really sad looking. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're but eggs. I will say this, Sirings, with a 24 nature, um, you definitely can tell there's some kind of magical properties with this egg. Um, yeah, it definitely seems to be exuding almost some kind of like. I sniff it for magic. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, whatever's in the, uh, the... Give me information. Yeah. Arcana? Yeah. Okay, you can definitely tell with the 30. Eating this egg will have some kind of magical effect. You um, can't eat the egg. That's Scritch's <laughs> egg. Yeah. <laughs> it, it could do something... Uh, with a 30, I'll give you this. It's, it could do something extremely beneficial. It could do something that's maybe, maybe bad. Syrinx is going to take They're that gonna, information that to the tough. grave. Ah, <laughs> I want to eat the egg now. Well, but you don't know. You don't know. I don't know. All right. <laughs> well, that wasn't interesting, the eggs. Ah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys leave. I, I, I guess, Plumeri, do you act on any sort of information with the, the, the idea that the eggs are uh, un, un, unfertilized and will not hatch? Mary will go to Vana. I don't know if we should tell Scritch, because this will probably be the equivalent of telling a child that Santa isn't real. But the Indigo. eggs they give you aren't going to hatch at all. Oh, that's... Hmm. 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 Oh no, you, you've tossed this on me all of a sudden to solve. <laughs> <laughs> Vana is Chris's guardian. I ain't fucking around with that. Right, right. I'll figure something out. Um, I don't know. Is it like, is it a is it a shitty move to just like just while he's sleeping, just kind of like yes. I don't know, find, find some pets or something like that, and just kind of swap them out with the eggs? Just. Just say they went up to a nice farm upstate or something. That feels worse. Oh God. <laughs> that feels worse for some reason. <laughs> I cry. I feel like the pets idea, unless you guys have any other better idea. Seriously, so just is frantically what I'm shaking with. his head as he walks out the door. 
I put me in this situation. How dare you? We all leave before she leave. before she can get an answer out of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was I was gonna say, hey, you can steal duck eggs at the public park because it's not illegal. <laughs> it's <so good. laughs> you tell that to Vana, She snaps a finger at you and just kind of says like, "We're taking the secret to our graves." <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you all leave. <laughs> Stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that, that fun fact came from a dude in Texas uh, who steals invasive duck eggs so that they don't take over the natural ecosystem. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Interesting. The dude oh my girl. god. Um, Vienna, so you guys head to Trevor's next. Um, I don't have a unique map for Trevor, so we're on the same map as you guys walk in the door and uh, well, you see unique, Trevor behind This there. is a unique and interesting building. Yeah, it sure oh, is. Wow. Um, <laughs> so theater of the mind. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you can yeah. see that like uh, on, on like these like fancy stands around the room, um, they, there's a whole bunch of like unique like dresses and suits and just various different outfits. Wow, wow these um, stands. Sirius immediately goes over to them. Mm hmm. Yeah. As like he says, like, uh, I'll be there in just a minute. Um, just a minute uh, for an old friend. As uh, he, he pops his head up and says, hey, Indigo, the, the Mercs, what are you guys doing here? I like um, how he said me first. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll travel. You seem to have missed your payments. What? It's time we break our legs. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what? And what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know, I just want to spook him. <laughs> I think he's making enough spooking. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can see as you look at his face that like he, he apparently clears to have like one glass eye, but uh um oh. Yeah, the the eye appears to at least, you know, look pretty convincing. Um, yeah, you can definitely also see, too, that, like, the entire time you, you've you known Trevor, um, he, he's always just had, like, bags under his eyes just working too much. Mm -hmm. And he still has that, but you can definitely tell, like, he, he stands up straighter as, like, uh, he, he walks around with a lot more, like, purpose. Um, you can see, like, he's a lot more, like, clean cut, um. There doesn't appear to be like any of the telltale sounds of like alcohol like anywhere around the room. Um, as he does appear to be, you know, working long hours still, but it's long hours and the passion of something he really seems to actually care about here. <laughs> Aww, oh, that's <laughs> nice. This is the one good thing we get for the campaign. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For now. I see, business is going really well. I can't talk. <laughs> Holy shit. That <laughs> sentence. Business has been going well. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's been really good, actually. Um, you know, I uh, ended up talking with Kikio. Kikio really enjoyed like a lot of the dresses. She recommended uh, all, all of me to all of the, the lotuses that she could, and there I am now. Um, as yeah, you can see a lot of like the um, the outfits he's working on are very much uh, Japanese inspired. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why is oh the map God. slowly being consumed? I don't know who is doing this. I think it's Nemo. I'm pretty it's sure it's Nemo. Thing. Why, why are you always accusing like me? It's just you. It like just has service. your mark on it. Yeah. Let me pen the void. <laughs> ah. It's <laughs> gone. Okay, I've sketched most of this out. I just need to figure out the hair, but I'm gonna wait until we get to Linda's. God. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I think I'm the only one who can save Pen. There we go. <laughs> Sirinx walks um, up to a mannequin with a currently undetermined outfit on it and just immediately strips off his shirt and pants and just. <laughs> what are you on? doing? <laughs> yeah, he, he Trevor just says there's a dressing. Uh, okay. <laughs> You know, I didn't think I'd need to have a talk to people about public nudity either. But... <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, he's still wearing underwear. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I feel like he has like little ducks on his underwear. Or something <laughs> cute. Something Fantasy stupid. ducks. 
Yeah, just little ducks. Just need to do ducks. Yeah, cuz we've already established ducks are real. It's too late. Yeah. <laughs> they're just they're just ducks with two heads and teeth. Oh my god. There are ducks and then there are fantasy ducks. There are two kinds of ducks. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, you're wearing these two-headed fucking the, the, the duck chimeras on your underwear. <laughs> That's canon now. Someone That's spoke canon, into yeah. existence. <laughs> As uh, he, yeah, you, you put on the uh, the outfit, the undetermined and outfit that you need to decide because I'm not deciding this shit for yeah, you, I my know. guy. <laughs> and on my tablet plugged in because it goes <laughs> like every two seconds. <laughs> God, oh no! Yeah, as he says, um, I guess you guys are uh, looking for some new outfits. Then we're going on a game show, and we need to look as flashy as possible, is what I've been told. <laughs> Syrinx has picked the most extra outfit in the entire Yeah, area. he says like, oh wow, I mean, extra is the name of the game here. Alright, let's sequence. see uh, what we can do. Um, yeah, you get a, yeah, <laughs> you get it's a blindingly sequined outfit. <laughs> oh my god. It, it actively makes noise every time you move. Oh god. <laughs> I, I, Elliot, hate that. Syrinx loves that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good. God, um, I hope it doesn't give you disadvantage on stealth. It should we need it? It does. It absolutely does. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> does. But it is flashy. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. Um. All right. Yeah. What are the rest of you guys kind of thinking then for flashy outfits? Hold on. I'm almost done. <laughs> I think I just need pants. Ah. I have the perfect pants already. I don't need anything. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> well, Plumera will pipe up. Do you have anything that just kind of screams mean girl? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Pink denim jacket. <laughs> yes. If he had a denim jacket. Um... Pink denim jacket. Pin pink denim jacket. Yeah. Get it right. Okay. It's a pink denim jacket and it has like embroidery on the back as like uh Trevor's like, now if you're going for like are we going like a little bit trashy here too, or like mm, more like people are beneath me. Kind of ego. Alright. Thoughts on embroidering the word bitch on the back of the shirt. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's like, yeah. can it be in like metal band font? So you like at first you're like, oh, that's a cool logo, and then you squint at it and you go, that just says bitch. <laughs> yeah, not metal band logo, but I feel like like really fancy looking cursive. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly that. <laughs> um, they yeah, set you up with that outfit and just like uh, a purse, uh, and he kind of says like, um, yeah, <laughs> um. No, just the straight up say like I can get you a poodle to fit in the purse if you really wanted to, but no, that's probably not great. <laughs> uh, no, we are te technically we are supposed to be having some skills for this, and I think I may have to lay out something large like a bear, so I don't think I should. He he nods, uh, kind of like looks at some of his tools and just pours some heavy objects into the purse so you can kind of <laughs> use it as a maze. Oh yeah. <laughs> Improvised weapon. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right. Oh my God. I guess it goes over to Indigo. I have drawn it out. It is on stream chat. I don't need to. Ah. The corset. <laughs> titty out. Oh my God. <laughs> I like the the conveniently yeah. placed sash. Yep. <laughs> Nothing yes. to see here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> <Not me. laughs> yeah. Scarver just looks at you and he just. <laughs> You know, yeah, Trevor just looks at you before designing the album and he just says, All right, I have an idea. Two words, titties out. <laughs> <laughs> As he walks out of the dressing room, he's actually like covering his titties, like with his hands, and he's blushing. <laughs> I'm naked. I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. At one point, he's gonna rip off the corset to make it as flashy as fucking possible. Oh my god. Yeah. Quick release oh corset. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it goes over to Scylla and he just kind of says, Alright, so what are you thinking? Um, as Scylla just kind of says, like, uh, something cool, something. <laughs> I was. 
No, yeah. Ursula would fucking do this. He's a, he's a dumb cult child who doesn't know any better. He just says, Can you get me a trench coat and a fedora? Like the guy <laughs> from The Matrix? Because <laughs> I don't know any better. I'm basically a teenager. <laughs> and this is oh, where I've ever fucking cool. wear a trench coat. James <laughs> is just frantically shaking his head. The Matrix is real in this universe? The Matrix is real. Fantasy The he Matrix? He doesn't say The Matrix, but he says a trench coat and a fedora. <laughs> because he's the worst kind of person. My god. Seeing's <laughs> just frantically is shaking his head, and he pushes Trevor away, and gently <laughs> guides Solo over to just... some some clean good boy clothes, gets a button down and a tie. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's wearing a nice little suit. Uh, kind of... <laughs> yeah, so it actually kind of looks like a, a little bit like pen suit. <laughs> Just a nice little three piece suit. <laughs> Mini me. He's, he becomes a tinier pen. He becomes a tinier pen, yes. <laughs> yeah, he, he's beaming. Put Scylla down on Pen's head. <laughs> you do so. Uh, can I <laughs> spend an hour to turn my familiar into a snake? <laughs> yes, you can do so. You need to resummon it though, right? Yeah. Let me Okay. <laughs> that the money. <laughs> yeah. Do you it. start a fire in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, yeah. just kinda opens his mouth, looks at Pen. I'm assuming Pen, you just give a very nonchalant look back. Yeah, Pen I just closes his mouth. <laughs> Just speaking hellish words, talking Jesus. to a plane. It it contorts in shape. Yeah, okay, this is happening. <laughs> so right. How have you uh, been, Trevor? Honestly, I mean, all things considered, really well, I think. <laughs> and your eye? Well, I mean. Yeah, it, it, it still, like, looks pretty convincing and stuff like that. Doesn't really ache too bad. Plus, I can do this weird party trick. And he kind of just starts wiggling around the eye in the socket. Oh, just kind of grows the eye over and just goes, eh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't do that again. <laughs> he gives a belly laugh at that. <laughs> right, well, in the meantime, old Penn is starting his fire. I would prefer to pay you for, you know everything we've just oh that's a good idea yeah. i mean you you guys really don't owe me like again yeah. i i seriously owe you <laughs> that's Romeria not how you run a business Romeria is shoving <laughs> 20 gold in his hand anyway okay Shut up. <laughs> Shut up you accept this <laughs> i'll give him an extra 20 as well <laughs> he protests like after several times but i guess you give hey. him the, the 20 gold Okay, was gonna do something, but I said not. No, what are you gonna do? No, you gonna no, do? he accepted it, so I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> Indigo was going to put the gold in his cities. Yeah, I was <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anything else then, Chi? Shopping wise, in terms of uh, outfits. <laughs> I'm imagining we get summer syrinx, but more glitter and beads, and still not summer syrinx, just spring syrinx. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? You, you get, like, that kind of, like, the little tail cloth, whatever, like, uh, by the shorts, but it's, like, it, it's bigger, and it's fluffier, and it's, it's, it's spinnier. Beads. It's all beads. It's, like, flapper dress material beads, just yes. all beads. <laughs> that combined with a flapper dress. <laughs> Very good. I'm gonna specify that Plumeria is wearing like thigh high boots, and while she loves the purse gave, <laughs> Trevor gave her, she she must replace it with the fan. It is too good. Oh <laughs> she yeah, needs her hands free. Very good. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then you get a you know, all, all just a pair of like big round sunglasses to complete the look. Water bugs. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. If that's uh, it, though, heading to Linda's next. Yep. Yeah. Are we all are we all dressed up in our getup before Linda or no? I guess so. It's up to you guys. I guess Trevor can bag it. Like searing oh, says. Ben. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Pen with your ten tomorrow. foot yeah. walking speed, waddling <laughs> over. Yeah. No shirt, just a snake oh around God. his neck. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? You know what? 
<laughs> Are you turning pen into white trash? What the fuck? <laughs> You're gonna understand it later. Dude, the fucking muffin top, those incredibly tight pants is generating. Yeah, it's just- <laughs> That's fashion. Violent. Painful. Oh my god. It looks painful. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> People are taking psychic damage from looking at it. <laughs> yes. Oh, Christ. But yeah, you guys, uh, to, to Linda's. We go to Linda's. Um, and as always, a, a very, uh, uh, brightly dressed, uh, dwarf lady with a, a big, beautiful, well-groomed beard, um, and, and just a, a beaming smile just, like, greets y'all and says, like, Oh, hey there, what can I do for y'all? Syrinx waves very noisily. <laughs> I'm gonna be fighting. I just gotta take care of the, the people here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, so uh, what are we thinking then? <laughs> I stare hopelessly. Just fuck them up. Fuck them up. <laughs> yeah. She she nods solemnly, <laughs> um, <laughs> and gives you all just like pearls, I guess. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna Maybe I'm gonna here. assume Shivam knows jack shit. We yeah. all just get haircuts, and we're gonna leave it up to the imagination. No. Okay. No, no, no. I have no, 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 nothing to offer hair. in terms of. <laughs> okay. Nope, she just shaves his hair. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, she shaves into goes head. <laughs> Just she does not. Full she does not. Ball. How about one by one we explain what happens with our hair? Okay, okay starting with planaria. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was just gonna probably have her like curl it or some shit. That was all I was thinking. Okay. She's, she does not get to cut it. Planaria will make that very clear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you get your hair curled and flopped. <laughs> Oh, Indigo is going to get an edgy blue streak. Oh, oh hell, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> he can't cut his hair because that's like not part of the samurai way. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like, oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's getting the streak to mark himself as a true whore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, all right, and then Syrinx. Syrinx just gets fluff. Fluff, maximum fluff. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yeah. Still, it just gets like... They're not not quite a bowl cut, but like Oh god. <laughs> no. <laughs> just no. an honest doing man haircut, just like <laughs> the, the most Side church part. boy of haircuts. Serious <laughs> so gets Dolly Parton fluffed. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, you get the Dolly Parton beehive. <laughs> <laughs> do it. You have to. Working I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, very good. <laughs> I think right. while this, I was gonna say while all this is happening, I'm just gonna ask, ask Linda if she's heard about the uh, the auditions for the show and what she thinks. Yeah, I mean I've heard a, a little bit about it. Um, I mean it seems to be just like it's entertainment, but uh, it, it feels a little I don't know uh, exploitative, I guess. <laughs> It seems to be pretty popular among the highborn for sort of almost making fun of the lowborn. Well, they don't really have anything better to do, I suppose. Mm. Well, I guess it means that we're going to be perfect for tomorrow. You know, um, she, she glams you all up, though, um, unless you got anything else. Nope. All right, then. <laughs> then, yeah, you guys head back to the, the court of Amaterasu, and Fork's just, like, just sipping a glass of water as he sees you guys walk in, just immediately spits it out, seeing you all walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, this, every time you load in this map, it loads in up here, and this is the map we use for very scary part in a different campaign, and I get very scared. And then I scroll down happening. and I go, oh, it's just the bar. Uh, just the bar. Nothing, Nothing bad, bad. happens here. Nothing bad happens here. You're gonna swap it out with the bad campaign. Uh. 
Anyway. <laughs> I take it from that reaction fork. We look very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a, a little bit. Syrinx is a full spin. <laughs> very sparkly Syrinx, very good. <laughs> he has a little bow. No, not a little <laughs> bow. Like, it's his... Nose touches like the floor. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we've achieved our goal, at least mm. one part of it. I'm I'm assuming all of this is for a job, and as much as I want the context, I feel like it's infinitely funnier if I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah. Um. Unless there's anything you guys want to do overnight, then. Where is nudging Pen? Are you going to, or do I need to make sure to remind you? What? Your apology, Pen. All right. Hey. What the fuck did you just say? You cut out so bad. I heard hey, <laughs> and then nothing. <laughs> there you go. He stares at you, confused. You didn't call him Titty Boy. <laughs> oh well, like this is the only time you can. His titties are out. Wow. <laughs> I tried to be nicer today. I've been a little bit too mean to you. Sometimes deserve it, but not all of them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill for a second. And uh, sorry if I was too rough on you. He's dumbfounded. Are you sick? Is something wrong? Did I do I'm something? Slap this boy. <laughs> Plumeria, I I'm trying here. I can't be responsible. But that's how you've only acted towards Indigo. He doesn't know it. He doesn't know any better. All right, get up, get up, let him pass. So, don't worry about it. Just do, doing a fine job here. Just keep at it. Okay, that hurts. I'm gonna go to my room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I think you're a good teacher. As you walk away, and he's like, well, okay. <laughs> like his little old man noises kill me. Mm -hmm. He waddles off in his tight pants With his no tight shirt. pants. Squeaking all the way. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> I look at Plumeria, shocked. I'm serious, I'm just staring back at the scene, wide-eyed. It's a start, is it not? Yes, but I didn't expect him to say so many kind things. It's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Surprise? I, 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 thank you? Time, just time to get used to it, I suppose. Or at least Pen being not as much of a dick. Hmm. Well, thank you. Don't worry about it. As he worries about it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say we all go to sleep and wake up ready to go to the trashy auditions tomorrow. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Great. All right. Yeah, you guys wake up uh, bright and early. Um, eat a healthy, nutritious breakfast. Um, suit up and uh, head on your way. Um. Yeah, it's a small building, just like in the middle of town. Looks fairly like a well kept, um, and uh, you can see just a, a small line of, uh, of people uh, who are slowly filtering inside. Um, How do they look in comparison to us? There are some people who are just like just some normal people who are you know just like out and about in town. Um, and uh, they, they they just clearly appear to be just doing this for just sort of for a lark. And there's also like a, a more of a handful of people of like 
you know, more extra, uh, or, or just as extra as you guys are. Um, and they're all sort of wearing like very fancy sort of outfits and like, you can tell with these people specifically, they they kind of like, they give you odd looks as you, uh, you, you guys walk in. Searing walks up to the nearest in, stranger and sorry. shakes their hands. Um, all right, high or low to find out if you, you talk to someone who's extra or someone who's just here for a lark. Hi. Hi. If you roll high, you get to talk to someone who's probably going to be nicer than the person who... Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you talk to someone who's just like, um, he's like a, a, a youngish looking man who's just like, appears to be here with just like a, a couple of friends. Uh, he, he, he just like an orc, um, he, he just kind of wearing like a pretty casual sort of outfit. He's just like, oh, uh, hey man, what's up? Searing's just smiles and waves at him. <laughs> he awkwardly waves at you back and just kind of like looks at their friends, just kind of like trying to figure out like, is it some kind of bit or something like that? Wait, what? Is it a bit? Like, yeah, this is a bit or something like that. <laughs> he blinks, shakes his head, he looks confused. He looks at you because you initiated this conversation, though. <laughs> he takes out his notebook and he starts writing. And he writes down, What are you doing here? Um, I mean, I'm here to audition like uh, all of us are. I mean, you know, it's a game show. Could win some crazy cool prizes and stuff like that. You write some, but what are you doing? What's your What's your audition? <laughs> he suddenly just kind of looks a little bit like worried and just kind of says like um like a proper audition and stuff like that i thought it was just kind of like you know just get up there say your name and stuff like that and they kind of pick it like raffle is like an audition audition so he oh, makes oh, a face like he's just realized that that's what this <laughs> is and he's not just going here for fun and games he just nods i should go <laughs> 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 As you chase off some of your competition. Nice! Nice! God. Yeah. Sorry, you need to go ahead. Sorry. Before Nemo, appro oh, before, before <laughs> Nemo <laughs> approaches, that's your disguise Nemo name. <laughs> I, am I more scared of Nemo Hello. or am I more scared of Pen? Yes. <laughs> yes. Inside. Yeah, are you uh, talking uh, like the coordinators of like getting like a uh, your registration nah. done or? Before Pen approaches, he's gonna go into all out and alley and cast Sky Self. Mm. And it's gonna come out looking like a very small but buff halfling wearing a snake around his neck, a very uh, a, a buzz cut haircut, and sunglasses. It looks That's exactly it. like Nemo. <laughs> Exactly like me. <laughs> I wear a buzz cut and I have a mustache. You yes. can't disprove that. <laughs> I'm also extremely buff. Yeah. I, am. I thought we were just talking about Joe from the one shot. Yeah, it's just small <laughs> Joe. Oh my god. Yeah, sure. Small yes. Joe. Very good. Yeah, so you, you go strutting over to the uh the registration. Um Yep. Hi yep. there. Yeah, you can oh, see no. like there's like just a, a this elegant looking woman who's like um uh she has like a headset on, just like has a clipboard and she's like, Oh hey, you guys are here for the auditions then? Of course. Well what else would we be here for? Oh, of course, of course. Uh if I could course, just of have course. <laughs> Yeah, so if I could just have you guys then uh I will need so I need the, the name of your group, uh as well as how many people are in it, and then I need you guys to sign some liability waivers. Oh shit, oh. we didn't think of a good name. Uh We're the back drunk boogies. The back drunk boogies? <laughs> that, yes. The back drunk boogies. That's that's a great name. I love that. <laughs> <I hate that. laughs> Nemo just auto-generating three English words for us. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I, 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 I could I could feel you literally about to say backstreet boys. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, swerving, just hard swerving. You were going down that road, then you just took it off a cliff. 
All right. But yes, the the back drunk boogies. Great, great, great. Uh, I'll, I'll write that down. Um, <laughs> how many of you are there? Uh, we're four, five. <laughs> <laughs> five people. Great, great, great. And then I need you five then to sign these liability waivers. Are we signing? No mind at all. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm signing Cerulean. That's gonna be my stage name. Cerulean. Soon wow. just writes down serious. <laughs> Oh Great. Um, uh, Pen writes down Joseph Fufis. Joseph Fufis? <laughs> Joseph Fufis, yeah. Okay. Fufis. And then Plumeria? <laughs> She'll write down Dragon Lily. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, very interesting. Um, yeah, so. No one put um, serious bacon. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh... Priscilla, Stilla, I'm yeah, Scylla, yes. currently, you can see him writing the S of his name. Do you want to interfere? Me, let me finish that for you, and she'll write, uh... Oh, fuck, I can't... Uh... <laughs> give me a moment. Dear, why... Name that starts with an S. I, I, Sebastian! Seb yes, yeah, Sebastian. Sebastian. Okay. So terrified you guys are just write Shiva or something. Shiva, <laughs> 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 How dare you take that away from us? <laughs> it's too late. You can't do it anymore. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All what right, see so right again. again? <laughs> I'm not reminding you. You gotta figure that out. <laughs> Got it. Oh my god, so you guys sign your names and over the form. Okay, I finished my thing. Here you All are. Right. <laughs> what? No. There he is. Uh, do, do we okay, just anyway. go in, or...? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll call you guys uh, uh, when you guys are ready to come up. Um, yeah, so... You guys are uh, stuck in like this little waiting area. Um, e the additions seem to be going by pretty quickly, um, so not too much time until you, uh, you guys will get called. But uh, if you guys wanted to come up with a bit more of a proper game plan, Syrinx appears to be head empty, no thoughts. <laughs> Is there anybody it's that? Like... Oh, I'm sorry. Half disintegrating. He said, "Ah." Okay, what's well, the plan? What are we can doing I mean, here? Can I make a perception check? To yes. See just... if like we know anybody there, or I know anybody there. Oh, uh, go ahead. And, yeah, go ahead and go for it. Pull out 13. one of the X's. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> nope. Uh, yeah, with that uh, one eye blind, turns out you can't see shit. Guys. <laughs> with a thirteen. Oh. With a thirteen, not really. Uh, well, you with a thirteen though is this. Um. The, some information as you guys kind of look around a little bit is that like some people appear to be like uh, with their uh, auditions like you can hear some people like singing a little bit you can hear some people just like talking a little bit uh, and some kind of like um uh like dances and stuff like that it's all about just making your guys just kind of appear like as special as possible yeah syrinx just takes out his violin and starts picking it up I look to the others we just want to be like a fighting group or something or I don't think that's I, what they want I think well, they want more drama than just fighting I mean I was going to see if they could summon me a live animal so mm. you can wrestle a bear to death yes <laughs> well you can uh, uh, I, no. I have half an idea we can go in, send we're some kind of band, and then at the start of whatever song we pretend we're gonna play, we immediately break out in a fight. Just trashy mm -hmm. drama. Oh, That's so good. My sister. Oh, you did mm -hmm. that? Just go full on out. Well, can any of us play instruments? Other than Syrinx? Syrinx takes out his... just pretend. Syrinx takes out his, uh, tambourine and hands it to Indigo. 
Uh, is that a good oh. idea, magic? He looks tambourine? confused. It's a doesn't, tambourine. Well, doesn't he use his magic with the tambourine? That's what I meant. Did you use magic with a tambourine, Indigo? Well, I, did, I, didn't I don't know think Indigo would itself. know that. Yeah. Oh, it's fair enough. He just shakes his head and pats it on his lap. There you go. It's yours now. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, I, I think I'm working out something better. As we fight, Steering just goes on and plays the best song he's ever played. And we just go absolutely trashy there. We just pretend we're gonna start seeing like the beginning of a note. And then, uh, uh, Plumeri, you tackle Indigo. And then I'm gonna yell at you guys. And that's it. And then, then we go on from that. Improvise, right? Sure. Syrinx takes Maybe. his uh, deer head skull mirror out of his bag and just whatever whatever brain. it's called. R r what? There's a word there. I can't remember it. Crane? Crane? Yes, that. Thank you. <laughs> How about we do a bit of both? We can st like attempt to start a performance, but because we all don't know how to fucking play, we can blame each other for being awful and have that be the segue into beating the absolute shit out of each other. Ah, and then, like, destroy the, the instruments afterwards, like uh, the rock and roll band. That Seriously, his eyes go super to. fucking wide. <laughs> Seriously, you can still play, like... You can still, like... What's the word? You're the only good member, I suppose, so you'll keep <laughs> at it, but... Yeah. He gives you a thumbs up. We're gonna be uh, our background music. Background music chaos. to the chaos. <laughs> yeah, that's our plan. Uh, Alright, so that's the plan then? Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> We're gonna wing it, that's the plan. <laughs> yep, some time passes, um, and your guys' uh, audition number is called. Um, you guys head into the room, and um, there's they, just this uh, elven man. Um, he, he, he's just got one like dude. a yeah. It's one dude. Uh, he has some like security guards, like uh, like around the, the room. Um, but uh, he, he just appears to be like the this elven man, just like a, a very like nice sort of suit. Um, and he kind of just looks tired as he fucking just like lounges back in his chair, fucking like feet kicked up on the desk. Um, I think Indigo, you have the highest perception. You can kind of see that he's like swishing around like a bit of like a flask at his side as he just kind of like tiredly says like, yeah, all right, let's let's see what you got. Well, uh, we're the back drunk skunks and uh, we're going to do a little 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 song for you. Mm. Uh, this here is are my comrades in, in arms. We are fr friends and family. It's a weird combination of things that we have here. Uh, yeah, let's go. Are we all really like, performing now? <laughs> Do yeah. I roll persuasion first? Yeah, just or to, or, yeah, just to try to convince him that you're like a sort of a, a family kind of actor. Yeah. yeah go ahead and roll oh persuasion. God. Let's see what we got there. Okay, that's. Can I roll with advantage because of the. The pants. My snake. How is your snake, snake giving you advantage? Help action. Oh. How is it helping you be more persuasive? It's. It's just slithering around. He's just dancing. <laughs> cool. I, I, every time I say a nasty. Completes death before. Oh my god. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's stupid enough, but sure, fine. <laughs> I like that. I'll allow this once. <laughs> so don't you have Advantage. Persuasion? Plus the I two. Do. Plus the two. Oh well, god, that's a 12. Don't. That's a 14. 12? A 14 total? 14. 14, 14, 14 total. total. With a 14, he. You could even tell, like. He, he just kind of looks bored already, and he looks like he, he's just looking at his watch. He's a little bit tuned out right now. But uh, you guys uh, start playing then? Yeah, Syrinx walks up, and he 
bows all the way until his nose hits the floor. And he gets up and he starts <laughs> playing. Like for... I guess we all start playing. Yeah, so first yeah. I'm like steering to and roll performance. Yeah, with my mirror bonus. Yes, with advantage. And my disgustingly Ooh. high stats now. Please, you roll well. Roll 20 gods, listen to Please. me. Please. Oh, let's oh, go. 29. That's so good. With a 29, he was just like staring at his watch, just fucking like writing like things down like on paper, just clearly fucking bored out of his mind. But then you start to like play the violin and like you get into it. It's a fucking good ass performance. It's and a bop. He he's at least looking at you guys now. He he he, he seems to I'll at least stare kind at my of like titties. <laughs> God. <laughs> He, he, he's looking somewhat interested, but there's still something a little missing from this. I would like to do something I'm not allowed to do. <laughs> I was what are you going to no. try? No! Oh, what? Ben, ben is gonna nod to Plumeria. Yeah, you guys Plumeria's can go first. Start. I have a full Plumeria. minute before I can you, do this. You absolutely have a chance to do what you want to do. What are you going to try to do? You were talking to me or to I'm talking Ellie. to Elliot. You have you have one, you have a chance no, to mine, do what you want to do. No, mine takes one minute for me to start it. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> so you guys can go ahead. All right. I was going to say Plumeria starts dancing to the music. Yeah, you start dancing and go ahead and roll performance. Oh okay. yeah. That was good. With an eight, you how do you awkwardly dance? YMCA. <laughs> I was gonna say she was flying, but like, even though somehow she manages to break a heel almost. Ooh, oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, yeah, you almost just like break a heel. Um Can I at least comedically <laughs> time the music so that there's like some wacky notes when with Pumeria like almost happens. falling over? Yeah. You you do so, you're kind of losing him though a little bit, you can tell. Um I think Scylla just kind of like he, he quietly says in her best like inaudible to anyone, but you guys just like that that wasn't good D dancing. And Taco's in to go. What? <laughs> Get the point! <laughs> just tackle him. <laughs> 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 the plan. Syrinx winces, visibly. <laughs> Roll a grapple check against Indigo. What's or, I guess, or I guess Indigo, do you accept the grapple? To, do you take the fall? Okay, I want to, but I want to make it a show, so I want to contest. Okay, so contest then. Uh, what do I need to roll acrobatics? You're gonna roll acrobatics versus <laughs> athletics. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like so normal. Pen's first thought is, Oh god, it's going to shit. I'm gonna immediately unleash all of my pent up anger against Indigo. 13 versus a 20? Oh god. <laughs> Penn's just like trying to push Indigo over, and it's not quite working. Play right, you stupid tall boy. Didn't even get the to play! <laughs> I rip off my I fucking corset and start to play the tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Just start fucking Roll hitting pen with it. Full abs on display. Yeah, wait, are you trying to hit pen with it or are you just gonna play it? I was just gonna play it. Okay. <laughs> Can I you get advantage because I ripped point. off my corset? <laughs> no. Why? I have abs. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just a normal performance. <gasps> what the absolute. Fuck. Now Pen has a reason to be angry. Yeah. <laughs> you you try to rip off your fucking your, your your shirt, but it like it just gets caught up and you're just awkwardly just like you your arms are now stuck. I'm going to say Pen now has an opportunity though, just completely okay. bully you over though. That's fine. This is for sleeping with my sisters. I, I uh Pen <laughs> kicks Indigo's legs. That's part of the you dumb fuck. <laughs> I roll intimidation with advantage because I think you're actually a little bit angry at Indigo for actually fucking it up. <laughs> it's barely a bit. <laughs> I roll a what? Roll intimidation. Let's go with with advantage to like show how angry you are. Oh, okay, I see. Intimidation. Intimidation or deception? Your choice. Ugh. Oh. It's fucking funny. Intimidation. <laughs> oh wait, for deception I have a uh, plus two. 
Yeah, of the I will say deception then is normal because it's not like fueled by any sort of anger. Right, intimidation then. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, eleven. Oh, On God. eleven. Yeah, you're kind of like angry at him, but yeah, I feel like you're maybe remembering just like the words of Pumera here or something like that, and you can't like fully bring yourself mm. to like fully get oh, angry God, yet. What have I done? <laughs> okay. All right. Serious is I'm just gonna... really like wincing. And he's gonna look at the indigo so <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stand up after like shaking myself off from that shit. I didn't sleep with your fucking sister. You slept with mine. <laughs> I'm gonna slip him. It's gonna backhand him. Oh, right. Pen is, yeah, just, pen just is gonna. Him. Yeah, Pony's gonna let it hit. <laughs> All right. I yeah, gotta take so you the full fucking, damage. You backhand him. <laughs> this, this is what am I rolling? I'm going with a D4 of damage plus uh, your strength. My negative one. <laughs> What's a D4? Oh, okay, I see what you mean. It's kind of as a D4, because, like, one feels sad. You would actually do zero damage if you did a normal melee attack, and that feels wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we two points of damage. You leave a fucking, like, you, you leave a bit of, like, a mark on, like, a uh, fucking Penn's cheek. I'm going to say Plumeria uh, you and Syrinx, you also have, like, a chance to, like, do some stuff in Has there. Has it been one um, minute? It's not it's been one yell. minute, no. <laughs> All I right. will say, though, like, your sister. That's actually your aunt. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. So, Plumeria, you have a chance to do something before Pen, though. No? Yeah, sorry. I was going to say, she'd probably <laughs> go over to uh, Indigo, like, take her boot, rest it on, like, like, his head, and, like, lean down, like, really, like, pedantically. Maybe if you weren't so busy trying to get your next fuck, you'd actually fucking practice. <laughs> oh, <Damn>. oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go with deception with advantage for because of the uh, the slap indigo cave. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll do the. Where is it? So my this poor judge. The judge is fork now. <laughs> I have a plus three, so oh, whatever one's better. Oh, why did? What is oh, happening? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you rolled a 51 I, on <laughs> I think I, I, did, I did the D100 instead of the D20. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Why fuck. are we failing what? so badly so, at this? A 7. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> you slipped on my hair. <laughs> oh my god. god. <laughs> With the study, I slipped on the hair and just... It's a complete fucking shit show. <laughs> oh my so god. Yes. Show. That was part of the plan. Mm -hmm. That was part of the plan. What do you mean? Yeah. I, we're <laughs> supposed to be a shit show. I'm yeah. not sure if we're doing the correct <laughs> That's a real shit. Is yeah. it better if you roll low? It's not an interesting shit show? shit show. That's what it was. It's not an interesting shit. It's not captivating. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Seeing that this is going straight to hell, I'd like to try to recover this a little bit. Uh, well, I'm gonna give Solo one more attempt to do something before you go into your thing. Okay. Um, and I guess Solo will just start yelling, Mom, Dad, stop fighting! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's Mom and Dad? <laughs> he just kind of panics and he's just looking at, like, someone to answer. <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> he's panicking. He We're doesn't know what panicking. to do. <laughs> Not your father! <laughs> So I'll look shocked. So look shocked. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How about this? You can give him like a, a hint to play along with that sort of bit of like you know trying to convince him that like, you're telling him right now he's adopted. Um, okay. So I when I look with sleight of hand. Okay. Cool. That works. That works. It works. Ooh. Yeah. You just give like a slight sort of like nod to him to try and signal like play along with the bit. <laughs> Please <laughs> roll twenty gods. Please. This is the last sort of attempt to try and save just, something. Just one. Oh, yeah. twenty-two. With the twenty-two, um, he, he 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 just kind of looks confused for a second, but it finally like clicks for him in his two brain cells. And he goes, well, you, "You're not my like r real father, but 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 you told me." <laughs> Tell me something. Look at your hair and look at mine. Do you really think we're fucking related? Oh my god. We only <laughs> adopted you because you kind of look cute, and we thought it better for the band. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> he begins to to cry crocodile tears. Are you sure? Because we're kind of mean to him right now. Okay, roll intimidation, then if you want to get him to actually cry, you weirdo. Well, Are both I mean... more intimidation or just Indigo with advantage? Yeah, one, one of you with advantage. Uh, I guess I'll Indigo. roll. Roll intimidation to get this child to actually cry. Oh, God. <gasps> with the 22! You like you get in up to his face and like you realize too late. Oh no, maybe this is a little much. As so, it just actually begins to cry. Oh no, you guys actually are horrible oh, no. people. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, the fucking like the judge is just eating this up. Um, yeah, he's just almost like fucking just laughing up a storm at, at all of this. Um, as he, he's invested, you got him fucking hooked. <laughs> Um, as he just says, like, all right, all right, all right, just, just hold on, hold on. You guys are a fucking mess. Oh my god. But people are gonna eat that fucking shit up <laughs> because we made a child cry. <laughs> because we made a child cry. Now that's the go. <laughs> yeah, he's he kind of like whispering to like a. He, he brings like a PA like into the room and just says like, "All right, cancel us to the auditions. Um, I need you to set up like some preparations for me. Make sure we get like uh, close-ups of all these people and stuff like that. Make sure you get like a lot of footage of the child's dysfunctional home life <laughs> because we have so many TV bad. producers are the worst." <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> he he whispers down to Scylla, and he he like pats his head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. See if you can rent out just like a really like trashy home and stuff like that. You can set these guys up with for like the the, the background for for where the guys came from. All right. Uh, and he sends her out of the room and says, "You guys are gonna be appearing on Best of the Best." <laughs> Serious club. <laughs> oh, so who's you. the mom? Who's the dad? I need to know. This. <laughs> I don't think I'm the mom. No, I think or you're the like dad. the drunk uncle or something. <laughs> Am I the dad? Maybe. <laughs> I could be the dad. Well, I was the adopted no, you're the dad. dad. Yeah. yeah. As uh, he he gives you the details for when like the proper shooting is going to to take place, um, which is in, in like a little bit. Um, after you guys re record some uh, some horrible fucking like B-roll footage and stuff like that, they can play like the uh, the intermission rolls and stuff like that. This is so cursed. <laughs> oh god. Vaughn so is gonna get to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, but uh, he he just says like, all right, but uh, uh, I'll I'll see you guys uh, in uh, about a day then. <laughs> Oh, oh right. As, we'll be glad to be there. Yeah, and you guys uh, take a uh, Silla out, who's still kind of wiping away tears. I'm so sorry. I feel <laughs> bad. I didn't. I, you know, I didn't mean it. We were just. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I, it was. It worked though, but it, yeah, we're sorry. That was. I'm just glad I could protect you and Lady Pumeria and everyone. I hug him. I hug him now. I feel so bad. <laughs> so, uh, you did a good job. Oh. He, he just kind of nods. <laughs> is, is there anything in the city that you want to go try on our way back? Field throwing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> God, um, he he kind of like uh, looks around, still like sniffling a little bit, and sees like uh, some people like uh, walking out with ice cream cones. Um, and he, oh, his eyes kind of get big at that. <laughs> we are going to find you the best dessert shop in the city. Well, go <laughs> yeah, go get some dessert. fucking ice cream. Big oh ass banana God. split. Yes. <laughs> Rice. <laughs> I feel so bad for making this <laughs> child cry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when it got you the gig. Oh, God. Wait, it suffering. what does fantasy ice cream look like? It's just normal ice cream. Wait, hold up. Um, so someone hmm? just fucking hand searing some ice cream. And he bites into it. Oh, no. Maybe he doesn't enjoy the experience. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. This isn't great for him. 
<laughs> oh no! I think this is where Steering Society doesn't like ice cream. That's really tragic. That's very sad. <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> if we're in a dessert shop, Lemuria's buying like five dozen macarons for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are chomping down the, the macarons. You guys seem to have gotten the gig at least. <laughs> oh man. Um. Yeah, you guys have uh, been sent back. Well, let's go with a little like flyer of like the possible events. And um, so apparently the best of the best is really supposed to show like, you know, like uh, the tr tr trying to uh, see these people as they try to do all of these like different challenges. And one is apparently some kind of uh, physical challenge. Um, as you can see pictures that kind of look like Nickelodeon Guts obstacle courses. Um, there is a, uh, a mental challenge um with very little in the the way of information there uh as well as like a luck challenge as you can see like a a, a screen that kind of looks like a um uh the, the let's make a deal show do we oh. all need to participate or just one one of each oh yeah you guys will all be participating in all of the like events you and you guys will be working together as like a team of course as you guys kind of realize like E uh, you guys can garner like audience attention and support if you don't always work together as a team uh, and you know make, make it a little bit of a drama on there to really kind of like um, uh, help them kind of keep you on the show so to speak <laughs> mm. Sirian's just while we're staring at Sirian at his ice cream really sadly here it's done <laughs> does this mean we're famous now? <laughs> Or now, yeah. <laughs> uh, Shiva, quick question. Mm -hmm. The church doesn't have TVs, yeah. Probably. The church, <laughs> they, um, so people who are normally involved with the church, they probably wouldn't have like TVs. Um, people who might like talk to the church, though. Eh. But I mean, like, you you can't be more famous than you were with the whole like. Right. Um, yeah. Cool. Hey, uh, this will do no more to your notoriety than you already did to yourself. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, cool. And shoot a foot, you've already shot. Yay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is this what we wanted to stop off for tonight, then? Yeah, as I figured, like, this is probably a good stopping off point. Um, because I guess we can, we can only get into, like, one event, maybe, but we might as well just yeah. save that all for yeah. next week. Yeah. More Not next week. week. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Three Two weeks. weeks. Three Something weeks. Like that. Three weeks. Well, yeah, we'll announce some sort of time. We will the, have a deal. stream, but I think three of us are out of town next weekend. Yeah. Huh. And I think one or two of us are out of town the weekend after. But I don't know. We'll be in Florida at Eight. Disney World. But we'll still do like our streams <laughs> or something at the same time. Maybe do some Q and A, some art. I already said that. Wait, wait, wait. Put put this put this up. Huh. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Disney. Oh my god! I didn't notice he's wearing a Mickey Mouse <laughs> eye patch. Disney ready. <laughs> the fucking hidden Mickey. Is he dressed like Flynn Ryan? Yes, yes he is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's very good. <laughs> Perfection. Here, I've I've finished one comic for when he comes back and gives everyone little souvenirs. It's the one I finish, and that is it. Ah. <laughs> I don't know why it's zooming in. I'm like like that, but hell yeah. Dude, we talked about that, and it was like one of those books that's also a music box, and I think Syrinx would just fucking lose his shit. Mm -hmm. You're like, what is this sorcery? <laughs> Very good. Yeah, we'll see you um, all when we see you all with yeah. the next edition of Aluna Nights. <laughs>